Alex, I turn off bedroom string lights. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. Good. Give me a moment. I have my my phone is my camera, so I just have to pick it up. No worries. So. Yo, pick up the phone. How's it going? What's up? Yo, what's up? <laughs> I just upgraded my deck a little. All right. Um, let's test it out. Sounds good. I removed like free tutoring spells, so because they're gay, so no more tutors. Sure. Free tutoring spells. I will just summarize Lord of the Rings set in one sentence. 
Um, really good. <laughs> I think it's I think it's legit. I really like it. Yeah, I think um, there's some really good power creep on um, spells. <laughs> With it, it's not like too overpowered, but they'll just add just enough. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's like insane, but I think there's some, no. some pretty good stuff in there. It's it's just like the staples that really know it. Like what is it? Uh, the anthem spell, the the white anthem. That's one white white. Creatures get plus one plus one. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I have a few of those. That's pretty good. Yeah, like the Lord of the Rings. Like what is it? Dawn of a New Hope. Yeah, does it but for one cheaper, and it gives you your legendary spells one extra power, like stuff like that. Yeah, Where it's not absolutely. like broken, but it like it like upgrades super old cards. I think if it was done like seven years ago, it could have been more badass. Why do you say that? Uh, I don't like like how the flavor and of the art style feels in this set. Like, is it really Word of the Rings? I think so. I mean, sure, there's there's some good cards and all, but I think I, I think know. it I think it really feels like Lord of the Rings, honestly. From what I mean, I'm not a big Tolkien fan, but from what I've heard, they've spent a lot of time pulling characters that were referenced in the in the books, like the original books. They spent time building them up too. Oh, so like they, they absolutely they, did. They've dug deep for like characters. Oh, there's so much lore. It's insane. They 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 brought characters in from all over the lore. I mean, let alone Tom Bombadil. Dom, Tom Bombadil. People who have seen the movies wouldn't know who he is. Um, but like Gloin, like Gloin's mentioned, but like you don't you, you see him in the Hobbit, but you don't necessarily. I don't think. Wait, no, you don't see him in the Hobbit. You see uh, his uncle. But either way. So then, what's your top three sets in terms of flavor? Uh, Lord of the Rings is incredibly flavorful. I, I mean, it just it just is. It does a really good job with the flavor. Um, but yeah, as far as, like, top sets in terms of flavor, um, I think Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is incredibly flavorful. Um, Lorwyn is incredibly flavorful. Lorwyn, I mean, Lorwyn is just, it's it's a storybook. That's what it is. And it, the it Shadowmoor really block, right? Lorwyn Shadowmoor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like Shadow Wait, isn't, Moore. Isn't, isn't, um, what's, what's the set that's the Great Hinge? Isn't that one storybook? Uh, that's well? Eldraine. That's, that's Eldraine. Eldraine. That's, uh, that's more fairy tale, less storybook. Gotcha. Yeah. My first deck used to have, like, the green white guy from Shadow Moor. So he's three mana, three four. And you give him the green white enchantment. So he becomes, uh, five six flying vigilance indestructible. Oh, and nice. Start blasting. I would say the any of the old sets when the fat packs came out with the books has super deep lore, but I don't know how far you guys been playing. Oh, I've been playing since two thousand. Oh, we just lost. Um, I've been playing since two thousand, so that tells you anything. Yeah, like I'm talking like uh, maybe it's probably right before you. It's maybe like ninety seven through like two thousand two. Like the apocalypse onslaught, the whole oh, Urza. So uh, invasion was the first thing I had stuff from. Invasion. invasion. Yeah, in, that's, in, the one, that's the one that looks like the the spider, right? And invade. That's uh, that's onslaught. Um, onslaught. Invasion was the one that had looked like kind of a flying saucer ish thing from the top view. Um, it was the right. it was the like one of the original Frexian invasions. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Onslaught block was right after that. Yeah. I'll okay. be playing the misunderstood cheese magician. So cool. That's what's gonna happen. Right, I'm and gonna the, randomize the perfect this. Perfect sleeves for the deck. Nice. One, two, three. Okay, we ended up back in our original order. Um, so I am streaming. So when when we get Shit. started, when we're ready, I will. Uh, we can. I'll just start us off, and we can do like a yeah, quick deck go. intro. Let's go. I can keep. This one is all right. That's that's a mulligan there. Um, 
I got a mole too. <laughs> I also have to mole. I had three basics of one color. That is not gonna fly. I have one basic of one color. And all the tutors. Uh, just we're not doing any infinite combos, right? Nope. I mean, I don't I personally fun. care about infinite combos, but I don't have any infinite combos in this specific game. But I don't yeah, care I don't about mean, infinite combos. Just like, you know, that instant to win. I mean, I technically can do an infinite, but it's super janky and it's super telegraphed. Well, just don't. That's fine. Well, I mean, it's I'm I'm playing Voltron, so my infinite combo is literally I get two or, I get three equipment that give me infinite treasures, and I take infinite attack phases. So, like I said, like mm. it's super telegraphed and it's super breakable. Oh jeez, okay, I got a mulligan again. That's terrible. Yeah, well, like I said, um, I, I have no problem with, with infinites. I play infinites for the most part in a lot of my decks because they win they end games faster than three hours. Um, this deck is an aggro deck, so it does not it doesn't really have any infinites in it. At all. <laughs> I mean, I would consider my infinite too. It, it depends on how much damage I can do. Yeah. Alright, let's try this. Okay, I will try this. Let's put this on the bottom. I'm soft. I'm going with my hands. All right, is everybody good to go? Yep. All right, cool. Yep. So uh, I am uh, going to be playing Eowyn Shield Maiden. So my goal is to go wide and make a bunch of humans. What do we got, Josh? What's up? What are we doing? Uh, just deck intros for my stream. Okay. Um, I got Grav's Ghoul, uh, Prop of the Wall, or Zergle Helm Smasher. Um, let's just uh, control a little bit of chaos and uh, throw this world into Calamity. Let's go. Alright, I'll be playing my Misunderstood Cheese Magician. So, basically, try and top deck stuff. Sashi, sassy Bamboozle and some shenanigans. Yeah, I'll be playing. Yeah, I'm playing Slimefoot and Squee. It's uh, basically I want my commander in my graveyard so I can bring out lots of big stuff, lots of sacrificing, hopefully to kill everyone by killing myself. Sounds good. All right, I will start us off. I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I will play a mountain as my land for turn, and I will pass. Let's go Arid Mesa. Let's crack that for a Let's crack that for a Godless Shrine. Um, if it helps, I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay the two. I'll shuffle here in a second. Um pay the two, pay that for an S percent mall, take the three. Alright, I'll draw, play a command tower, and pass. I'll draw, I'll play a haunted mire tap and pass. Alright, I will draw, I will go ahead and play the planes, I'll tap two, and I'm going to play a humble defector, and I will pass. I'm still shuffling. No. <laughs> How dare you be so slow? Yeah. Oh, it's the guy with the draw. Oh. Uh, let's go trying for land. And... Let's yeah, you know, let's let's go to a combat. Let's go one towards what's up. All right, I'll take one. What's up? Uh, and pass turn. Enemies for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right. 
That's what this deck does, baby. Alright. Let's play Tundra. And, uh... Let's... Play a Lightning Greaves without playing the Esper Sentinel. This time. Gotcha. Alright. Draw up Esper. Yep. Go ahead. Draw. Ah, uh, damn it. I'll play an Evolving Wilds, crack it to go find a mountain and pass. Alright, I will untap. I will draw. Oh, geez. Okay, um, we are gonna go ahead and tap the Humble Defector to draw two cards, and I will give the Humble Defector to Chase. Yay, I need that really badly. Alrighty, and then I will play an Island, and I will tap three, and I will play a Herald's Horn naming human. Can you pay the one? Um, I will not. Alright. And then I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Uh, this is turning out real bad. Buried Ruin. Let's go. Uh, white. Too generic here. I'm going to go Sparring Regiment. Um, off of that, I will learn, I will discard, I will discard a War's Pull, draw a card for turn. Then um, let's go to combat, let's go, um, hmm. yeah, I'll go chase for one on top, on attacks, Sparring Regiment will trigger, give it a 1-1 one, one counter, and untap Esper Sentinel. So you'll take a two. I have a two one. It's tapped. Two, it's tapped because I tapped it to draw. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I take two. I got you. Take two. And I will pass for half of that. All right. Draw on tap. Play Swamp and Now you're really taxing. Uh, okay. For one blue, Mr. Cremora, and then I'll pay two for us per Sentinel. Sounds good. And pass my turn. Yeah. Untap to draw. Play a forest slam for turn. Um, I'll tap the humble defector to draw two cards, and then since you were so kind, zombie, I'll give it right back to you. Oh, uh, thank you. One, two. The horn reduces cost of three. Human. What's up? The horn you have. What's the name? Harold's horn. It reduces the cost of creatures of the chosen type, which is humans, and the beginning of upkeep. I can look at the top card of my library. Each creature of the chosen type, I may reveal it and put it into my hand. Oh yeah, all right. It's a different art. I didn't know this one. Gotcha. I'll tap three. To cast my commander, slime put and squee. That rhymes. He'll come with a sapling, and I'll pass. Alright, I will untap. <clears throat> Upkeep, trigger Herald's Horn. I'm gonna take a look at the top card. It is a combat celebrant, so I'll put it into my hand, and then I will draw for turn. Ew. <laughs> okay. He might have to discard, maybe. Let's see. I'm gonna play a mountain as my land for turn. Yeah. Oh, I have to discard. I'll discard a Terramorphic Expanse. Sorry. Um, then... I am going to... Let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to play my commander for cheap? Or do I want to do something else? I think... I am going to pay... 2 mana. And I'm going to play an Orzhov Advocist. At the beginning of my mm, that's a land from my hand that shouldn't be up. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, each player may put two one one counters on a creature they control. If that player does, creatures that player controls can't attack me or planeswalkers I control until my next turn. Um, mm. Then I will pay two more and I will play Combat Celebrant. Out. And then I'm gonna tap and draw with Humble Defector one and two. Um, and I will pass the Humble Defector over 
to um I'll, I'll i'll pass it back to chase since he passed it back to me you know seems fair hey i love it i love what we're doing right now <laughs> All right. They have their own card draw engines. We and then I only have seven cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will go ahead and pass. Don't tap. I'll keep draw. That's one all. I need bonus. I will do a strip mine for land for turn. Um, let's go. One red, three generic for Karn the Betrayer. He is essentially a humble defector on damage. Uh, and he has to attack or block if able. Uh, so let's go. So we went, what is Slime Flint Squee? He is a 3 3. And then what are your what are power toughness of your creatures there, uh, Zombie? I have a 1 4 and a 4 1. 1 4 and a 4 1. Okay. All right. Well. Sorry there. Uh, I don't technically have to attack this. I should. Um, let's go combat. As for Sentinel, is going to come out WhatsApp. Uh, on attacks, trigger, gets a counter. So I'll eight, pick three. 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 Yep. Yep. And I will second main. No plays. I'll pass turn. Okay. Top draw. Upkeep, I'll pay one. He's gonna play a swamp. And. Huh. Well. I guess I'll just. Actually, no, just pass. Yeah, that's it. That's for me. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hmm. Okay. I'll play a forest. I'll tap this to draw two. And I'll get control of it back to zombie. Yeah! I have some of the cards in my hand. I'll tap two for a skull prophet. And two more for a Druid of the Cowl, two mana dorks. Um, I'll go to combat, I'll swing slime foot at uh, what's up on attack, I'll create a sapling. Yep. So it's just three damage. And I will pass. All right, untap. Upkeep trigger. I will take a look at the top card of my library. It is not a human, so I'll just draw it. Uh, I also have to discard one, sorry. I'm going to discard an Obherent Overlord. Good. I will play a Plains as my land for turn. I am going to go ahead and pay four mana for the... Oh, sorry. Also, I'm upkeep. Sorry, we have a trigger there. Um, we need to put 1-1 one, one counters on things. Someone put 2-1-1 one, one counters on a creature I control. And they're going to go on Combat Celebrant. What about you guys? I'll put two moral counters on my Esther. Figured. <laughs> I'll no, put two I on nothing. my commander. All right. Uh, so that means you guys cannot attack me next turn. Or Planeswalkers I control, but I don't have any Planeswalkers, so whatever. Um, I'm going to pay four mana to play my commander from the command zone. And then I will pay one white mana to play a Weathered Wayfarer. So a human has entered the battlefield this turn. Um, so I will move to combat, and I will get two human, to uh, two human knights. Sorry, i got to grab my token. Two human knights. Use that, and I'll put just two uh, 
counters on it to indicate that there's two of them, so we'll use this D20 to indicate amount instead of one one counter. All right. Oh man, Eowyn's just a board in a can. I love it. Um, let's go ahead and go to attacks, and I will be nice, I guess, and I will send one knight at chase and one knight at waza. I, I have no proof. How big are they? Two damage of two each of you. Yeah, just two twos. With trample and haste. I'll block with a 1-3. Sounds good. No damage. Um, then, main phase two. I'm going to go ahead and tap my humble defector to draw two cards. Two. Put that back. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and give the humble defector... I'll give it to Was up this time. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Figure you could use some card draw. Um, and I have eight cards in my hand at end step, so I'm going to discard a mountain, and I will pass. Yeah. I'll tap up your draw. Ancient Tomb, land for turn. I'll take two from each of two, uh, and a white, and I'll do an armored sky hunter. Nice. Um, then I will go to. Uh, let's go to combat. I will go a. Who do you have on your board here, uh, zombie? You cannot attack you me. Five. You can't attack me because you took counters from my Orzhov advocate. Um, my Esper Sentinel can attack you. Uh, nope. No, it's all your creatures. At the beginning, it's all my creatures? Yep. Uh, if a player does, creatures that player controls can't attack you or Planeswalkers you control until the end, uh, until my next turn. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was just the creature. Okay, I will go to combat still. I will go a 5-1 Karn at chase and a 5-5 five five Esper Sentinel at you uh, on, tri on attacks. I will add a counter and untap the Esper. Um, I will block the 5-1 with a 1-1. It's happening. 5-1 with 1-1. Uh, combat triggers. Uh, Karn will prevent the damage. I will give him to what's up, and I will draw two. Wait, you're giving me what? You're good. I'm giving you a 5-1 Karn the Betrayer that if you lose control of it, you draw Attacks the Attacks or blocks each combat. To how do you, how do you right. spell Karn the Betrayer? C-H-A. Uh, there's an ampersand in there, so it's a little weird. All right. it's the, like the Sapper Link still dies, right? Yes, yes. That's it only prevents yeah. the damage to himself. Thank you. I, I looked it up now. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, this is the Defector. This is the... So then, um, I will oh go ahead and turn after that. Oh yeah, it is a weird humble defector. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. I want tap and draw. And so I'll play a. I guess we'll play an island for turn. And. Here, I actually do not pay for the Mystic Remora in advice. So, didn't draw any cards from it? Yes. That's I drew fine. one, two off my Esper. Everybody's yeah. been playing creatures. Well, now it's pretty hard to pay it right now, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Creatures have gotten a lot, a lot better than they used to be, so... Yeah, yeah. All right. So, let me just read Karn one more time. If damage will be dealt. Whatever. So, it, so I can still give me, it to anyone. I'll... Yeah, I can still yeah. give it to anyone. As long as it takes, it has to. If you give it to me, I can get. If you give it to me, I can get rid of it, and I won't draw any cards from it. And it has to be dealt damage, right? Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. I can still attack him and then give it to him. Yep. 
All right. Yeah. Uh... And it's it's not it's when you lose control, Chase. So if you do kill it, you will still draw two cards. Okay, I got it. Oh really? Oh okay. Then never yeah. mind. I can kill it, but I can't. I will draw cards if you do. Yeah. Stuff. No matter what, even this card. No, this leave, card is even if it out. leaves your control, you draw. Uh, you draw. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, okay. let's go to combat. Uh, put the boots on the card of a trailer, I guess. And he has to attack. So. He has to attack. He, and he has to block. Yeah. He will go at hot zombie because he has a lot of blockers. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I will put weathered wayfarer in front of it. All right. So what happens is damage. I prevent it. Harm, yeah. yeah. And then you give I it away. Give it to Chase. Right. And draw two. And you get to draw two. And draw two. And then you get to draw okay, off that humble it. defector too, if you want. Um. Yeah, but uh, you, I can do it after. No way, it was a sorcery, right? It's only on your turn. Oh, only. Um, I mean, I'll have to discard. Uh, but let me see. I'll I'll try playing some sorcery. Play a land. And for five. I don't five. Know why people are scared of discarding. It's card selection, maybe. Send triplets. Oh. All right. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And uh, put the boots. Oh, that's not good. So, first time playing this. Uh, and pass from turn. Originally thought of doing this as the commander, but ended up with the swing. Oh, Centriplets is fun. I, I, like my, I liked my old Centriplets deck. It was uh, meant to be annoying more than good. And it definitely was annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... That's the deal. You didn't tap your the guy that. Um, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do the humble defector thing. No, I have seven cards. He, needs, he wants blockers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would try and return it as soon as possible. <laughs> um. But I am at thirty-one. Damn! I wish I would have turned This deck has no life gain. Use it or okay, lose it. I will do as I said I would. I will tap a black and I will cast Eaten Alive. Uh, additional cost, sacrifice a creature, exile target creature or planeswalker. I'm going to exile this thing that was given to me. Uh, and I'll target. Um, I got to ask for second trigger. I got to ask for second trigger. Can you pay the six? I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> So I'll exile Eowyn with Eaten Alive, and then I'll draw two from when that thing leaves the battlefield, I guess. And that uh, you did exile Karn, right? I exiled him, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I sacrificed him. I'm exiling a Zombie's commander. Oh, you're exiling oh, okay. my commander? Yeah. That thing gets too scary too quickly. I'm sorry. I've seen it so many times now. It and the food pre-con, both of those are so ridiculous. Um, oh, yeah. Five. Oh, it's eaten it alive. Is, All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah eaten alive. Yeah. I like it in limited. I guess I could do this, and that's how I can get a land. Yeah, I'll tap four and cast Conduit of Worlds. Oh, um, it's an artifact. Allows me to play lands from my graveyard. Yeah, you guys know it. Um, so I will play a land from my graveyard. I'll play an Evolving Wilds. I'll wait to the end of my turn to do that. Um, damn, damn, damn. I'll go to combat. I can't swing any of my creatures at zombie. I don't really... Oh, er, yeah, I'm gonna swing Slimefoot, who's a five-five. At uh, what's up? Mm. So he has two plus counters, no right? Uh, yeah, two plus. Right. So he's a five-five. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if I used the counters then in that case. So I'll block with the defector, unfortunately. Yep, that's a okay. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else. I so humble so defector dies. Yeah, Walling Wilds and pass yeah. my turn. Yeah. I want so upkeep. Uh, we have two triggers. First, we'll resolve Orzhov Advocate. I will put two more counters on my combat celebrant. 
What's everybody else doing? Do you want counters, Josh? Yeah, two more on slime foot. Two more on slime foot. All right. Mm, no, I'm good. Right. Ultra on slime foot. And do you want counters? What's that? I've got shroud. It doesn't matter. It's not targeting. Uh, it means I cannot attack you. It means you cannot attack yeah. me. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Doesn't, yeah, he can't target, target his own thing either. No, he's not targeting it. He's choosing a creature. Yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two counters on a creature they control. It's no no targeting. It's just you I may did. do this. I mean, this isn't going to attack anyway, so okay. it's not golded, right? Herald's Horn Trigger? Nope. I will take a look yeah. at the top card of my library. It is a human. I'm going to grab Champions of Minas Tirith and put it in my hand. And then I will draw for turn. Oh. I will play an island. Oh. Feels really good never missing a land drop in uh in uh, Jeskai. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um let's see. What do I wanna do? Um let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, we'll start off. Yes, I need to do it like this. It's probably the best option. I'm gonna go ahead and pay two. And I will play a talisman of conviction. Go ahead and draw, Josh. I'm not paying I don't have five mana to pay or six mana to pay for that. Um then let's go ahead. I guess we will pay. Um, we could do that and get my commander back out. That'd be fine. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I just oh, no, actually, this one's not stabbed. Right. Oh, man. Oh, it's probably fine. Um, hey, Josh, how many cards do you have in hand? Just curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and actually pay five because of the cost reduction, and I'll play Champions of Minas Tirith. Um, so I become the monarch. And then at the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, if I'm the monarch, that opponent may pay X, where X is the number of cards in their hand. If they don't, they can't attack me this combat. All this combat. All right. Six. Six cards in hand. Um, I will go to my end step. Trigger monarch. I will draw a card. And I will pass from there. And you said that's at the beginning of each player's combat? Yep, each opponent's combat. Mm. Each draw. That's it. Never seen that card. Haunted Ridge for turn. I do control two other cards. Uh, I don't want to get shit out of my hand. Okay. Um, let's go. Two and a black, taking two. Or a black market connections. Nice. Um, two generic for a black labor forge. Um, it doesn't help that I'm drawn drawn a whole bunch of land off ancient or uh, Esper Sentinel, so that's yeah. I mean, it's getting through your land pocket though. That's good, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's go combat. I have to essentially play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to attack you. Yeah. So that's uh, no point now. Okay. Let's go combat. Uh, I will go the Armored Sky Hunter at uh, Was Up and the Esper Sentinel at uh, Chase. Trigger the Sparring Regiment, counter untap, and trigger Armored Sentinel. Don't have to reveal. Look at the top six. Okay. Four, five, six. Put Nettle Sis into play. And the rest nice. of the bottom. Random order. Okay, let me Shuffle okay. this. Oh my goodness. 
Let's go on the bottom. Uh, that will auto equip onto the Sky Hunter, and that gets one, two, three, four, five, plus five. So I have an eight, eight coming at you. Um, what's up? And a seven, seven coming at you, Chase. It has flying, so I should not block it. Yeah. yeah. So that's how much you said? Uh, he's an 8-8, eight, eight, so he's a, actually yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Plus 5. Plus okay. Five. Okay. Jesus. Um, no play second main. I'll tap count. Okay, untap. Um, upkeep. I choose a player. So how many cards does everyone have? Seven. I have seven cards in hand. Seven as well. I also have seven. Damn, seven. I was gonna choose the guy with the most cards, but no, you have seven. Uh, well, it's either zombie or or freak, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Chase, what, what do you think, Chase? I'd say get the cards out of zombie's hand if you're gonna be casting stuff from people's hands. Mine's more. Com I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat. Mine's more combat tricks. So unless you plan to attack, mine's not really gonna help you. And um, my my deck. I feel like I like my deck kind of forces. Like my deck has trouble against people with a lot of creatures, but I can deal with. Okay, let's go. Targets. Freak. He has blood. So if there's one big target, freak. I can deal with it. But it's, can you, so can you freak play mana uh, or reveals his. Uh... Uh, yep. Can't and cannot play any spells this turn. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, okay, let me see. In response to that, I will mm. tap one white and I will. Ah, it's just gonna help me. Yeah. Okay. I'll tap one white and draw a card. Yeah. Mm. Help you out. Mm -hmm. So I got a Skull Rock Null, Sacred Foundry. Those are my lands. I have a Painful Truth, a Reprieve. Uh, aggressive assault, steel shaper's gift, and an archetype of aggression. Oh, nice! Oh, aggressive assault. Archetype aggression. How how assault. how you aggravate me? Oh, so is that part of your combo? Aggravated assault and reaver cleaver. Yeah, I I played it once and I realized what happens, and I was like, oh okay. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let me see that black card. The third Painful card. truth. It has convoke yeah. or it has converge. Essentially, if you could tap three colors, you'll draw three cards, lose three life. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, I am going to play your land for sure. Uh, Which one? Do you want the Spine Rock or the Sacred Foundry? This one has Hideaway 4. Yeah, I will I don't have any reds, honestly, but I do have... No, I don't have red. Well, okay, so if you don't have any reds, that means you can't activate his second ability to... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So... I don't know, honestly. Uh, all right. So from here on out, I'll be playing two for a Guild of Drake. Mm -hmm. And I'll actually trade you for your Esper Sentinel. Ooh. He froze. So we're, we're trading for Esper? Yes. Okay. You get a free free flying, and I get your Esper Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goddamn. With six counters on it, right? Uh, yes. Six counters on it. Uh. After that. Uh, I'll guess I'll play your Hideaway Land. Tap. Okay. All right. Look at so, the top four and top one under. Top four. Oh, it's all lands. Pretty good. Oh man. Uh. Four. Put the rest in the bottom of your library. Any order. Well, they're all horrible, so I'm grateful. All right, this goes on the bottom. And after that, I mean, play land. I still have three mana. 
And you want the pale truce? Draw three, lose three. If they're all different colors. No, nah, no. Nah, um. I'm just gonna let you keep those, but that for three is pretty good. So for the other three that I have, I'm gonna play Dakon Shadow Slayer, who will enter with six because this is the amount of lands I have. And now Ooh, Jesus. I can exile a creature or survey with two. Uh, uh, I'd say. Probably either the combat celebrant or his big fly over there would be my two targets. Well, well, I mean, up to you, obviously. Let, I mean, if you want the creature that makes me not able to attack unless I pay for one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I can, I can get. That's true as well. Yeah, that's true as well. If if you're not gonna be attacking us with that. Yeah, that's fine. If you want, it's it's the only thing that's giving them up is an artifact, which is one of the easiest things to kill. Yeah, but it's a flyer skill, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. I, I'm down for uh, killing the guy that... Prevents... Stops me from attacking my number one Stops engineer. everyone, not just you. Stops everyone. Right. So, let's exile that one. You're exiling champions of Minas Tirith? Yes. Uh, and I'm tapped out. That's my turn. Untap. So this means I can play spells now. Yeah, Draw. yeah, you can. Okay. And I will play a land from my graveyard to be evolving wilds again. And the red um... card was extra combat. If you revealed. Yeah, aggravated assault gives extra combats when you pay five mana, three and two oh, red. Yeah. yeah, it's very fucked up. Oh, gotcha. Very really fucked up indeed. Uh, I don't know what to do. don't have very many options, but I kind of want to have a flyer. This is my only flyer. Um, I'll tap six. I hope I don't forget this. I'm going to cast... Oh, wait. I have to sacrifice creature to cast that, so maybe... Um, shit, my fuck is shit. Okay, maybe I won't do this one. Anymore. I don't know. Fuck it, I don't care. I'll tap six, and I'll sacrifice the druid to uh, pay for the additional cost, and I'll cast a gourmand. Uh, five five flying trample. When it ETBs, each opponent must sacrifice a creature. I'll sacrifice one of my night tokens. I got the Drake. Mm. It's a tough choice. Yeah, I was looking at you thinking I didn't want to like hurt your stuff, but I had like I don't really have a better play. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh I don't know. Triplets was fun. I didn't even I just played the land, but it was fun, so Probably just this is a big blocker. Esper is Esper is a seven seven. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's potentially gonna get you card draw. Yeah. Uh, uh sure, yeah. But I don't know. Feels like triplets is the more fun play. Oh of course, hundred percent. Oh yeah, triplets is way more fun. I think right. your deck is built around triplets. Ooh. Uh, I couldn't find a way honestly on how to do that. So I let's try the swing. I swing. can't swing it. I put counters on my guy, so I still can't swing it, zombie. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Uh, I love Wars of Advocate. <laughs> take pictures from there. I guess I will. Or no, I won't do that now. Shit. God damn it. I think I'm just gonna. I don't want to swing at either of you guys either. Right now, even though it would make sense for me to, I'm not going to do so, and I'll pass. Alrighty, I will need to discard a card. Upkeep trigger, Herald's Horn. I will take a look. It's not a human, so I'll just draw it. And then <clears throat> I will um, go ahead and. Oh, I already drew. Okay, and then we have still. Oh, no, I, didn't, I don't draw it yet, so I'm going to put it back because we have Orzov Advocates triggers. 
Um, anybody else want to put counters on the things? Because I'm going to put counters on my uh, advocates this time. I'm good. Nope. Nobody else wants uh, counters? I do because... I don't want your counters. Uh, it, it only goes on... Nope, it doesn't go on your planeswalker. No, no. I'm oh, oh, okay, guys. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, wait, what? So he was at six, now he'll build eight. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to attack. I'm trying to block. Uh... I will play yeah, yeah. planes as my land. If I can, I could. So, blocking, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pay one, two, three, four, five. And I will play Aowen, Shield Maiden. That's ridiculous. Someone plays a non creature. Do you pay the nine? Yeah, do you pay the nine? Oh, she costs seven? No. Uh, she costs... She, uh, no, sorry, she costs six. I apologize. I, I did five, but she costs six. Because of cost reduction. She costs seven, right? Cost reduction for Harold's. Oh, cost reduction, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, unfortunately, I can't make the play I wanted to make because of that. So what I will do is I'll make a slightly different play. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to pay one life. Hey, look, I'm not at 40 anymore, guys. Don't attack me. Red and a white. Uh, I'm going to play Theoden, King of Rohan. When he or another human enters the battlefield on my control target, creature gains double strike until end of turn. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and give Combat Celebrant double strike. Um, I will move to combat. Aowen triggers. I will get um, two dudes. So I'll have three. Two humans have entered. Um, so two of my trampley knights get double strike because uh, two humans have entered, and then because I have six or more, one, two, three, four, four one, two, five, six, seven, I get to draw a card. Okay. Is Josh still here? I don't know. Um, I will wait after this. Um, I think he will probably come back. If not, this game it's just like got. PPC. If not, this game just got very, very warped. Yep. Very different. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope he comes back. Uh, yeah, I'll give him a few. We can give him a minute. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm really digging this deck, although I am heavily considering it. Uh, considered like really drastically changing it. Uh, hey, Snake, sorry, we're going to have to kick you because we're uh, waiting on one other person to come back. They just uh, lost connection. Um, but I'm thinking I'm, gonna, I'm, thinking I'm making this uh, Aragorn, King of Gondor deck and like having it be just a bit different. But I'm not, not 100% on that. Maybe so. Okay. Oh, man. It's the worst when people lose if connection. If he doesn't come back, then God damn it. Then I could have swung at him and gotten a snapper <laughs> no. Oh yeah, it's one of those one of those things that kind of kinda sucks. Um hopefully hopefully it doesn't. Uh, you I'm should be able sure to find anymore. us again if you can reconnect like we're on like we're yeah. we have the little stream red dot on our thing. Yeah, you should be able to find us pretty easily. It also, you know, like says hot zombies EDH club. So it should be pretty easy to refine. Crossing my fingers. Um, let's see. I'm going to give him like one more minute to come back. Have you played with any of the Lord of the Rings stuff, Chase? I haven't played with it, but I've played against it plenty. Fair enough. Uh, I definitely love... I uh, use a bunch of Lord of the Rings cards, but yeah. you know, I don't have any pre-cons. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I modified this one a little. Um, it's actually like really solid without much in the way of modifications anyway, but like I added a few things to it to make it a little more beefy. Um... They're also like this deck came with like thirty eight lands. I was like, that's probably too many lands. One of my favorite cards from the Lord of the Rings set I actually have in here. It's uh, Merkwood Bats. Yeah. Oh yeah, Merkwood Bats is incredible. 
Uh, hey, uh, tactical. Uh, we we were waiting on somebody coming back. Um, so we're gonna. Yep. Have, uh, yeah, sorry. No problem. I'll I'll leave. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come. Back. I don't think he's gonna come back. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna set us to private yeah. so we don't keep having that. All right. Well, I oh. I am in combat. Uh, so I'm gonna go to attacks, I guess. Um. Let's see. Combat celebrant. Now I wish I did it. Did. Oh, that also means you don't have that. Uh, your eight eight or your nine nine anymore. There was a. We sure? could just say he has the the nine nine just because of what happened. But obviously, if it dies, it just fades away. I'm sure. I guess. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Go to attacks, and I will send um, all my knights and combat celebrant in at chase, and I will exert combat celebrant, untapping the knights. Mm -hmm. So... So two of the knights are double strikers, Ooh. and then we have this guy, who is also a double striker. How large are they? Um, this is an eight-five double strike, and this these are two two double strikers. Two of them are anyway. With trample. Okay. Eight. Yep. This is an Does eight. Does the combat celebrant have trample? Uh, no. It just has double strike. Okay. I will put my skull prophet in front of the combat celebrant. Sounds good. And I'll put Slimefoot, who is a... Oh, shit. I guess he would survive, but he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. So How's it going, Soy Birdie? Five. What's up? There are two two with double strike, so that's four. Yeah, it's only four. Oh, I thought that... Okay, yeah. So, uh, never mind. Yeah, I'll put Slimefoot in front of one and my Gourmand in front of the other, which is a 5-5 five, five and a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep. Cool, so I will lose two knights. And then... And before damage uh, on the uh, hold on, uh, real, oh. real quick, I just want to make sure. Um, which knights were you blocking? The double strikers or the regular strike? The double strikers. Okay, cool. You go down to one. And uh, before damage on the skull prophets, I'll tap him to mill myself for two, and then he'll die. Cool. And then we'll go to my second combat. Um, let me see. Let me just make sure I know. Um, you may exert an attack when you untap all that under control, and then after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Okay, uh, does that mean there's a, yeah, so beginning of combat again. So I go to the beginning of combat phase, which would that trigger AoN again? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll get two more dudes, which will give two more dudes double strike. So two of these guys oh, will shit. have double strike. Um, and I'll get to draw mm -hmm. one, two, five, six, seven. So I'll draw another card off AoN. And uh, I'll go ahead and attack with three more dudes, two of which have double strike. So you already took two damage from my one of my dudes, and then you're gonna, and then I have. Uh, you can still block the non-double striking. You can still block the non-double striker, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll block the non-double striker and I'll take eight. Sounds good. All right, um, then I will pass through main phase two, go to my end step, and I will discard Tranquil Cove. And it will be uh, your oh, I to turn. I my Evolving Wilds. I'll do that right now. Ooh. Okay, that's a good draw. A draw for turn. Thank you for the follow, Soy, Soy Barty. I really appreciate it. Um, and then tap. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's check out two free. All right. Um, uh, huh. One way or another. Oh, I sorry. I had to draw off the too. monarch at my end step. I apologize. I had to draw off the monarch and then I have to discard another card. All right. Yep. We're going to go ahead. We'll just discard uh, a commander sphere. Sure. Well, I can. I 
can try and YOLO. Um, uh, and see where, where it goes. I mean, sometimes you just gotta trust what's on top. So that's two, there. three. All right, five. Play my commander. And give it haste. Sounds and good. Shroud. All right. Uh, you don't have any flowers or reach, right? I currently do not know. All right. Well, I would like to go to combat and. Oh, hold on! You took three. the counters from me. You can't attack me. Uh, oh, with all right. creatures. Uh, yeah. So, well, chase. I'll go for three for you, but you know I can still use the card on top and see where it goes. Uh, unfortunate mistake, but he is correct. So yeah. attack chains for free, but before the damage, I get the trigger, which is a Ulamog. Oh, how about that? Uh -huh. We just we just cheese them. All right. Well, that's fortunate. Uh, enter the battlefield, destroy target permanent. All right, I like that. Um, I'll go ahead and exile Eowyn. Are you destroying Eowyn? Uh, yes. That's fine. And... Oh, I didn't even use the surveil. That was lucky. Uh, let's see. I have two mana left. So... I guess for that, I'll get a demonic tutor. And find something. So, uh, with that uh, Ulamog out, that's a problem, right, Chase? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a little scared. It's a problem. I'm scared of everyone. How about you guys fight it out and I'll just yeah. be over here? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about the. Well, the Combert Celebrant is exerted, right? So that. Yeah, it doesn't have that going on. Yeah. All right. Um, let me check your. Another human error weapon. Which gains double strike. Uh, I guess I'll. Exalt target creature. Okay, I can I can do the the following. So um, instead of destroying your commander, I can. Oh no! Wait, fuck it. Okay, I'll just. Or no, yeah, I'll I'll exile the horn. Uh, I'll excuse me. I'll destroy the horn with Ulamog, and after that, I'll exile your commander. So it's the same thing, only in a different order. Okay. So you exiled my commander, but you destroyed the horror. The horn. The horn. The horn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. After that, I yeah, discuss. I don't know what to do now. The demonic tutor, and I pass my turn. Right. I um I think it was perfectly fair that we uh that we gave you the uh the Esper Sentinel for that turn cycle because it was weird, but since he's not here anymore and there's no more Esper Sentinel, I think it's also kind of weird to still have it. Personally, I don't know if that, I don't know what everybody else thinks. Okay, just, okay, that's... let's see. Maybe it doesn't matter though, but let's, okay, sure. For sure. Uh, am I good to go? Yep. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, play a mountain for turn. Oh, I don't know. I can, I can deal with one of you but not both whichever one i deal with will then I'll do nothing <laughs> have the other one to deal with yeah that's what i'm thinking but i feel like if i just do nothing okay i just need to heighten my defenses i believe and then just chill what do i have in here one, two. perfect okay okay um i will tap Three. Oh, did and you did you take the three damage off the off the unit there, Chase? Oh yeah, that's right. She did swing at me. Bink, bink, bink. I'll tap three for a morbid opportunist. Nice. I like that guy. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I feel like I need to keep that open. 
so I will. And I'll also... I guess I... I would like to have my sapling. So... Unfortunately, I'm gonna go to combat and swing 7-7 seven, seven, flying foot at you, zombie. Um, sure, I'll take 7. You have the monarchy. Hooray. Oh yeah, I forgot that you even had that. I'll create a sapling, so now I have that too, which is a bonus. And I'll end my turn and draw off monarch. Alrighty, I will untap. Uh, not that. Upkeep, draw. I won't be putting any counters. Uh, oh yeah, who's putting counters on things? Me neither. Alright, I'm gonna put counters on Theoden. I didn't think you guys would be putting counters on anything at this point. <laughs> yeah, well, if it was the creature only, kind of doable, but... Yeah. Not everything, because that just takes the option away. No, for sure. I will play a Mountain as my land for turn. Alrighty, let's do stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pay three mana, and I will play. Oh no, sorry, I gotta tap. I gotta tap different. I'm gonna pay one, and I'm gonna play a Soul Ring. Then I'm gonna pay three mana, and I will play a Horn of Gondor. When it enters the battlefield, I get to create a one-one white human creature token, and then I can pay three to tap it and create X one-one white humans, where X is the number of humans I control. Wow. All right. So, uh, Theoden gets double strike from that human entering. Then I'm going to pay. Th Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay four. And I'm going to play Mondrak, Glory Dominus. Okay. Ooh. And then I will pay three to activate uh, Horn of Gondor. So I will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will make fourteen human soldiers. Ah. So I have fifteen human soldiers. Hold on a second. Yep, that's how it is. <laughs> okay. Um. So then I'll just go ahead uh, and give sure. um the rest of my things double strike. Um, but none of that has haste, right? Uh, these don't have haste, but these yeah. can attack. Um, so mm -hmm. I will go ahead and I am going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and so all my things have double strike. Um, I will send in all my knights and orzov advocist in at chase Ooh, what? oh, oh just, what the hell did another one crash he, he might uh, he might come back he, he he crashed when you joined earlier so he might he might come back okay um well shit i got a bunch of shit coming at me <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got what we got. Uh, oh, Random it's just... DC. You're back. Yeah. Um, I get this like every hour, I don't know. It's all good. Um, But yeah, so you got a 3-6 a coming at you, Chase, and then you got uh three two twos coming at you. And they have uh, double strike. None, none of them have trample? These all have trample right here. Okay, I'll block the three six with a sapperling. Sounds It'll good. Die. I'll block one of the two twos with the Gorman, kill one of them, and okay. I'll take the rest. So you'll take eight. Yeah. Cool. I will take the monarchy back. Stealing the monarchy from me. How dare you? <laughs> when that dies, I draw. When my sapperling dies, I draw a card. Sounds good. Yep. Um, cool. I will move to my end step, and I will draw a card off the monarch. And I'll pass. Alright. Sweetie, sweetie. Coming for that booty. <laughs> That's five, seven lands. And we tap all seven. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sorry, Elishnorn. 
Yikes. Oi. All right, well, I lose literally all of my tokens. Everything. That's okay. Um, all right. And then a Temple of Enlightenment for turn, so I can scry one. Uh, I don't need... Do I...? Nah, it goes on the bottom. Whatever. And... Well, I think was up wins this game. Oh, let's go to combat. And Ulamog and uh, Misunderstood Cheese Magician goes at you. Who's you? Uh, uh, at Zombie. Excuse <laughs> me, I was just about to explain. I'm doing it because you're a monarch. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so right. I get a Annihilator 4, yep. Four. Damn. Um, all right. Well, I guess we go ahead and get rid of a mountain, a plains. Oh, wait, wait. Before you sacrifice, I get the trigger from the reveal top of the card. It's well, a, you can choose island. any order you want to do it in. Yeah, it's an island, so okay. I'll just draw it. And I will sacrifice the advocates as well. Okay. Well, I was planning on sacrificing some tokens to the attack. Um, I will go ahead and take, <laughs> what, 13? Uh, yes. 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright. You, uh, you got anything over there, Chase? Yeah. And that's my turn. I'm just waiting. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay, and my turn. Gonna... I'm gonna tap a black. And I will cast Overwhelming Remorse to exile target creature. I'm going to choose Ulamog. Nice. Sure. Um, oh, and you're the monarch was up. Scary. Yeah, yeah, it is correct. Well, he stopped, and I cannot use him for blocking, so I agree. He will get exiled. Um, and then I think that's all I'll do on your end step, so I'll go to my turn. Tap. Oh, boy. We got some work to do. Yeah. Oh, I am keeping the 15 tokens away. So, well, I don't have 15. I can't make 15 tokens anymore. I can make well, four. Yeah. Cap, I can make yeah, literally I'm, four I'm fine tokens. With, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with the Elish Nord. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, did, I did heal the kid the Killer Island, though. Uh, I got this from Japan. I went to Tokyo recently. Oh, nice. That's cool. So yeah, I got a bunch of cool lands cool. from there. No, I like the art. It's nice. That's the oil that. slick art, right? Yeah. Nice. So I'll play a land from my graveyard. They have forest. And actually they're like textured. Oh yeah yeah. Textured. Yeah. You can tell they look good. That shit. I like those a lot. Oh, I don't know what my best play here is. I mean it's there's always a chance to hit the land. Not every card is Ulamo. I will. I could either. Hey, if you hit him, you can take the monarch. Actually, I did yes, take the monarch true. from you. Yeah, you did. Oh. So you get you draw a card yeah. at the end. So. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yep. But uh, Chase, you can take the monarch now. You got a. Uh, he's got an Elish Nord. You got a. So you got a flying. You got a flying demon. I have a flying. He also has a flyer though. Five, uh, seven. Got a flying five seven. Menace vigilance. I will tap. Oh, then I should have taken two more damage. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Three, four, five. I'll tap five, and I will cast a Junji, the Midnight Sky. Nice. All right. Um, He's chilling. Yeah, he is chilling. I don't really... I, I still am sitting on the fence. I took care of Ulamog, but I'm still not really wanting to make myself a that's huge fair. target. Even though I got swung on all out by Zombie his last turn. I just couldn't get to the Ulamog. Um, yeah, that's fair. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Do I do this? Hmm. What do I have here? Hmm. I'm gonna go to combat. Um, fuck, screw it. Yeah, I'm sending Slimefoot 
who is a 5-5 at um, was up on the attack, I will create a sapperling. And the sapperling immediately dies. <laughs> yeah, it does immediately die. Oh, but you get to draw a card. Look at that. Oh, that's a spicy card as well. Wait, so Slimefoot is a 7? No, he's a 5-5, five, 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 right? 5. 5 because oh. of Elish, yeah. I can, I can block him, you know that, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm at 24, so that's low, so I guess I'll be blocking. With which one? With my commander, who's a 5-7. Okay, Slimefoot will die. I will choose to put him... Um... In the graveyard. Suspicious. No. I see what you're doing. Yeah. I see what you're doing, Chase. I guarantee you don't. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see what it's, you're doing. I'm not going to be able to do it this turn, but uh, next turn, potentially. Um, yeah, because the sapperling is gone. So I'm not going to be able to even have sapperling, so I can't activate Sanford's ability as long as Elish is here. Reasons we need to get rid of Elish Nord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How many cards does everyone two. have, actually? Five. That's still uh, Cards have in hand or out? Yeah, in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Damn. Stripling. Uh, yeah. I've drawn, I drew, I had seven, I drew one return, one off the Morbid, and Man. the land Man. I played was from the graveyard. Alright. <sighs> Not four bad. Mana. Uh, let's see, here's my dilemma. If I take care of Elish Norm, those knights are a problem. If I just sit here and do nothing, I'm probably just going to get killed. Alright, so what if I make well, a deal, what if I make, what if I make a deal with you? If you get rid of Elishnorn, I won't attack you. <laughs> like, at least not until Wazap is dead. Well, if you don't mm. kill Elishnorn, I'll just kill him instead. So you don't have to worry about him. Uh. See? But, like, I, if I take one of you, the other one is all against me. So it's like I am caught in the middle here. Ah, la, 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 la. okay, okay. I told you the game would warp when we lost another player. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's fine if you want to just roll. It, it's okay. It, no, it's, up it's up to you. It's up to you. I'm going to do neither. All right. I'm just going to further play stuff uh, and just see what the hell happens. I'll tap four and cast a Kagia Shadow Arch Druid. That's extremely glary. Uh, it's a one four. Whenever it attacks, I mill two and it gains death touch until end of turn. And then once during my turn, I can play a land or a permanent from my graveyard that was put there this turn. And oh, I will I pass that after that. All right. Nice. All right, I will untap. Hey, look, I can untap the combat celebrant. Upkeep draw. Oh, there we go. Sort of. Nope, doesn't do it. State-based effects suck. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. What do I want to do? How to do this? What if I do this? I do that. Oh, there's some place being brewed, all right. So what if we do four I've mana? I've never had many options in my life. And I'm going to play Baragon of the Guard. Whenever he or another human enters the battlefield under my control, creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. He's a 3-3. Three, three. So now all my guys have gotten plus one, plus one, including him. So he's now a 2-2 so two, two because of Velish Norn's minus two, minus two. So he'll be a 2-2 two, two now. Uh, Theoden is um a three whatever but uh, he'll also gain double strike i uh, know combat celebrant will gain double strike combat celebrant is back up too so we have uh so he is ugh, i hate doing this math between my counters and that but he is 
Um, plus four, so he's an eight five, minus two, so he's a six three. And then this would be a four five, minus two, back to a two three, so it's a three four, and this is a two two. Until another turn. Um, then. Um, I am going to go ahead and pay two. So this has double strike. And I'm going to play Copper Coat Vanguard. It will die uh, to state based effects, but it will also trigger this. So um, this will get I'll, double. This I'll will also get, draw when it dies. Yep. All my things will get plus one, plus one, and this will have double strike now. Um, okay. Then I'm going to go in for attacks. <clears throat> Should I? No, I don't do one more thing. I think I need to do one more thing. Um, let's go ahead. What if I did that? Can you get three? Baker, is that what I want to be? No, you get this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, screw it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tap Horn of Gondor to get six 1-1 one, one dudes, and they all immediately die. But all of my creatures get plus six, plus six until end of turn. Um, so Wait. I. So that's from just playing the guy, and then yeah, what did you play? Baragon gives my guys plus one, plus one. Whenever a human enters the battlefield under my control, creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. So I've had eight humans enter the battlefield under my control, which means total all my things have plus eight, plus eight. And all my things have double strike. Except for this, this is not a human. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and. So then you make less. Oh, because you make double. You make six actually. No, I made six. six. Yes, yeah, so they have plus eight, plus eight total. Because I had a human, a human, and then eight, or then six horn triggers, or six dudes made from the horn. So okay. these are. Uh, so these all my all my humans get plus eight, plus eight. Okay. Or no creatures. Sorry, these all get. This is plus eight, plus eight as well. So this is a uh, twelve, twelve. Well. And 10-10. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send um, Mondrak in for 10. Um, and then this also gets double strike as well. So Mondrak in for 10 double strike. Theoden in for plus 6. So it's an 8. So 8 double strike. And then this in for... Um, um, so it's an 8 minus 2 is 6, plus 8, so 14 double strike coming in at was up. And then I will exert him and untap these. Oh, and they all have vigilance anyway because of this. So uh, he's exerted. Yeah, I think I'm dead. All right. Yikes. Um, Sure, let's, let's play it out. Um... So you're attacking me with three creatures, right? Three creatures, yep. Okay, so how much? I know they have double strike, so just give me the powers. Ten, eight, and six plus eight. No, sorry, not eight. Um, ten. So ten, ten, and uh, eight minus two is six plus eight is fourteen. So fourteen, ten, and ten double strike. 14, 10, and 10. Uh, all right. If I block the 14, I get 20. So I'm at 4. Sure. And go ahead. Yeah. All right. So I have my second combat. Um, so the cool part is, is he can still attack because he didn't tap. He is exerted, so I won't be able to exert him until another turn later. But um, I will go ahead and send. Let's see. Oh, that, um, let me check how that works. I can't keep exerting him. You can only exert him once. 
until the exert counter is removed. There's technically a counter on him. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Um, but I can't at keep attacking because he's untapped. Um, <clears throat> Thank you, Vigilance. Um, let's go ahead and we will send... Uh, Mondrak and Theoden in at was up and combat celebrant in at chase no trample on the combat celebrant. no trample yep but 14 double strike yeah I'll block with Kog yeah sounds good and then are you taking the damage from these two was up or one of one of them either way Mm, so you're attacking me with both. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on. You said you took 20 damage from them last turn? Yes. Well, they're both 10-10s. Ten yes. And you... Um, and... Uh, and they're both 10-10 ten ten double strikers. And okay, you only blocked yeah, one I'm creature. Dead. Yeah. Sure. Okay, sure. so... Uh, instead, I guess I'll send these at, uh, at Chase as well. Uh, yeah, I will block with uh, the upper two or morbid opportunist and the why are you not blocking Junji? yeah but yeah, you can I'm just block with one why, why would you block with both there are two of them i need to block both of them all right no there's only one creature attacking you two no attacking there's there's you. no you there were not a valid attack attacking. target because you were already dead I couldn't attack you. I attacked with him with all three because I actually couldn't attack you on my second combat. Oh. Okay. Because you took forty damage from my two ten ten double strikers. Because it would have been twenty. Junji will trigger. So I, I have will to. Return. Oh, you're bringing. Okay. Yeah. Good enough for me. Junji will trigger. Uh, yeah. from my graveyard, I'll return an Abherent Overlord. Oh, nice. Uh, six six flyer. When it ETBs, I create four one one flyers. Your deck is really scary, was up. Like, it just randomly uh, flipped an Ulamog really off the top. I was like, holy hell. Yeah. <laughs> um, and is that uh, that's your turn there? Um, yep. Oh, it did give the... me 440 out of nowhere with the other Shnor. <laughs> yeah, that uh, okay. um, I will draw for Monarch at my end step, and then it'll go to you, Chase. Untap. Uh, your deck, your deck is terrifying. Was because that? of the uh, Overlord, I'll sack one of the one ones. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight. It's to hard combat. to win with it. I don't have any combos or anything. So. That's fair. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go straight to combat. Yep. I will swing a six, six, a five, five, and three one ones in the air at you, zombie. Okay. Uh, six, six, a one, one, and or three one ones and a five, five in the air. Correct. So, be so total 12, 11, 14. 14. I will go to three. <laughs> All right. I will then tap one, two, three, four, five, six, and just in case seven, eight, and I'll cast Lava Lanch to yep. deal five damage to it. you and all your creatures. Sounds good. Oh boy. Oh wow! Chase I had a palace jailer, an unbreakable formation, and an outlaw's merriment in hand. <laughs> Do you know how I did that? I did that by not fucking with anybody the whole time. No, I, that's the best way I to go. Sat behind. That's the best way. To go. I sat yeah, behind, uh, letting you guys fight it out. Even yeah. though it was warped, it was a pretty cool game, guys. No, it was a really good game. I loved it. That you guys, cool you guys game, had yeah. everybody did cool shit. That's the best. That's my favorite part of Commanders when everybody gets to do cool shit. Yeah, that All was right. a good game. That was hey a great guys. game. What was next? We had an Is It Signet. We had a Her Heirloom Blade. I need to get rid of the Heirloom Blade. All right. Um, cool. Well, if uh, I'm going to create a new game, and if you want to join me in that one, Chase, I'd be down to have you again. Um, let me... What time is it? I'm going to play a different deck. if I have some time. I will also be playing a different deck if I choose to play again. Cool. Um... Yeah, I could play another one for sure. All right, cool. I'm going to create a new one because I'm sure we're pretty far down the queue now. So I'm going to create a new one. It's just going to be called Hot Zombies EDH Club Power uh, 6 to 7. All righty. Sounds good. Cool. See you over there.
All right, game one went real well. That was pretty fun. Hopefully we can get another one in. Chase was really cool. Loved playing with him. Um, so was was up. It really sucks the other person couldn't uh, be in there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and delete this one, create a new game. Public, English, streams, let's do it. Join now. Alright, new deck. Who am I playing is the question. Hey, Chase. Alright, trying to figure out what I'm going to play next. Yeah, I'll whip out my... Uh, my Hey Ragnarok, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Oh, you know, just streaming. Nice. I thought he made this lobby in my name. I saw the word hot zombie and I'm like, what the fuck is Ragnarok do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you got my bitch on here. All right. Oh my God. That works See, out. I like it. I like it. After oh this, I'm going to have uh, Hot zombie, I only have two other choices in seven power range that uh, other than slime, but I've got uh, John Arenicus, the shattered one. And uh, Toxro. Um, ooh, two Demir decks. All right. Um, you know what? It doesn't matter to me. You play what you what you are feeling. Hmm. Either you guys have an opinion. The two guys um, are just showing. If you play, so here's. If you play either of those, I'll play my Urza Lord and High Artificer. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, is that? Is I'm gonna that, randomize this uh, real quick. Isn't that two? Oh, um, one, very powerful. Two, two, the John Arenicus. Three. John Arenicus. Okie dokie. John Arenicus is fun. How mean is your John Arenicus? Is the question. It's not as mean as it could be. Fair enough. I have a I have a buddy at my in there. I have a buddy at my LGS whose John Arenicus is like not mean at all. It's just like. Here, take these and beat people to death with them. <laughs> yeah, that's that is what mine is as well. But uh, I do have obviously all the creatures I'm giving away are dog shit. But uh, that's fair. I don't have. They're not as bad as they could be. Um, there's a whole bunch that make you sacrifice lands and uh, just really, really uh, gotcha. gay. But uh... I only have one in here that would make you sacrifice lands if it happened which is the phyrexian negator which makes you sack permanence whenever gotcha. it is dealt damage but uh, uh, that's the only one just so you guys know this deck is um does have a food chain combo in it but i don't have any quick ways to tutor it out really um, i can tutor creatures i can't tutor enchantments so i can't actually like dig for food chain that way um but it's like i'm trying to make a bunch of food okay and like just be really really like let's let's use the food as weapons okay. oh my god idiot what i was reshuffling my hand but i left my hand on the table oh no love the spawn play matt thank you <clears throat> One, two, three, hey daddy can you set your commander <laughs> well, 
<laughs> All right, that won't be happening. <laughs> you're the one whose name is Zombie Daddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. That was funny. Okay. Who the fuck I can do this? Um, it's slowish, but I can do it. Yeah, I'll keep his hand point up. Everybody ready? Who do we got? Good to go. Uh, when um, we start, would you guys mind doing some deck intros for my stream? Oh, uh, sure. All right, Ragnarok. I am playing Sauron, the Dark Lord. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Um, I just want to amass and attack. Sounds good. Chase, what oh. are you playing? We got your boy John Arenicus on the board. I'm just trying to give everybody some presents that oh, no. they don't want, the worst presents of all time, and have uh, sit back and instigate. Sounds good. While we wait for him to get yeah, our our, uh, our daddy to get back, um, I am playing Rocco Street Chef. I am trying to play things from Exile and play some things from Exile Matter cards. Oh, wait. What the heck happened? He, uh, he, he lost some stuff. Oh! <laughs> Just so you know, uh, uh, Freak Show just jumped into chat from the last game we were playing, Chase, and he uh, he said, sorry for last match, my internet crapped out. <laughs> um, it's all good. <laughs> uh, Chase ended up winning. Um, I took out um, yeah. I took out Was Up um, with an Alpha Strike with some massive double striking dudes using Baragond and making tokens, but my tokens didn't stick around because um, they got killed by um, by an Elish Norn, so... Oh, I, I was able to go big, but not really as big as I needed to to win. All right, uh, yeah. Zombie Daddy. Yeah, I completely forgot about the uh, Overlord in my graveyard and able to make all those flyers. Yeah, that was I had um, I drew Lava Lanch to just give us, uh, give us your in intro, Daddy. All right, y'all. Hey, what up, boy? It's your boy, Z Daddy, Zombie Daddy, a.k.a. Big Daddy Dick. You know what I'm saying? We're playing, we're playing me. Uh... Myth of the Dire Hunt. All I want to do is fight people. I like to fight people. I'm an abusive dad and an abusive household. <laughs> let's get it. All right, let's. Uh, hey, let's uh, yeah, let's get started. You're you're gonna have to edit that out. Yeah, God bro. damn. <laughs> Can't really edit a stream. Yeah, let's but... maybe not make jokes like that again, please. Thank you. Four boating <laughs> and I'm in the swamp, and then I'm a pass. Uh, hey DK, what's I'm good? How you doing? Yeah, homework path as my lamp return. This one, it's uh, basically a land that lets me tap it, and it says each player gains control of all creatures they own. Nice. And I'll pass. All right, I will go ahead and draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play a tapped rootbound Craig, and I will pass. Zombie so Daddy. Oh man, I should not get this. Uh oh. Uh. I'm gonna pass. Oh, no. I'm going to play a swamp. And then I'm gonna pass after that. I will draw. I will also play a swamp. I'll tap two for a Felwar stone and I'll pass. Alright, I will untap. I will draw. Maybe I can help you guys out. I'm going to play a tapped cliff top retreat. I'm going to tap this for green. I will play a gilded goose. When my commander comes out, we'll get some card advantage for everybody. I may get food. Ooh, that was a loud ping. Um, I get a food token. It's this cute cat staring at food. Um, and then I will pass from there. Okay, well, okay. I appreciate right. that, um, DK. Yeah, it's been a minute. Um... um for a soul glad you're here. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by and saying hi. I really appreciate plate, it. And then I'll pass. Really appreciate you helping my metrics. And uh, uh, hey, Freak Show, thanks for the follow. Uh, I just plugged up my laptop. I'm going to oh. play an island. 
Then I'm gonna tap three and cast Storming of Moria. I am going to create a treasure. I'm gonna grab that token and then I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to amass orcs too. Can't pop today. And then I will pass. Untap. Draw. I will play an island for land for turn. I'll tap four and cast your boy John and Nice. I'll pass. I will untap. I'll draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play a reflecting pool as my land for turn. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna pay four and crack this food using Gilded Goose to make another land. Uh, make another mana. I'm gonna play Sky Shroud Claim and I'm gonna get two forests to the battlefield, and then I'll pass while I'm searching, just because that'll be easier. All right. We'll tap a key draw. I'm gonna grab a Jetmere's Garden and uh, hmm. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Let's go duh, to duh, 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 duh. green green. Uh, let's cast the commander. Nice. And then we're gonna pass. All right, I will draw, and I'm going to play a Smoldering Marsh. Then I'm gonna commit a tap four cast Relic of Sauron. Nice. And I'm gonna pass after that. Yeah. Oh god. Here we go. Draw. I'll play an island. I'm gonna roll a dice to decide because nobody really has anything right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a five. Okay. I'm gonna tap three. And I'm gonna cast a Phyrexian Soul Gorger. Oh. So it's an 8-8, eight, eight, and it has cumulative upkeep, sacrifice a creature. <clears throat> I will move straight to my end step. My commander will trigger. My commander reads, at the beginning of your end step, target opponent gains control of the creature you control. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on it, tap it, it's good the rest of the game and cannot be sacrificed. Uh, I will choose to give control. What did I roll? I rolled a 5. Uh, but zombie doesn't really have any creatures, so I'm gonna roll again, and it's gonna be between the two players that have a creature. Uh, so Ragnarok, you'll be one, two, three, and zombie, you'll be four, five, six. It's a one. So I'll give the Soul Gorger over to Ragnarok. It'll get two one one counters, and it's goaded and can't be sacrificed. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you'll have to sack a creature. Yep. And it can't be sacrificed, so it sticks around. That's fun. That's really mean. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll pass. Alrighty, I will untap. Upkeep and draw. I will play a mountain as my land for turn. Um, I guess I will just go ahead and pay a white, a green, and a red, and I'll play Rocco. Alright. Um, so I have played Rocco. Then I will go ahead and uh, go to my end step. We will all exile the top card of our library. And until the end of my next turn, we can cast it. I get a commander's sphere. And, it, and if it's a land, you can play it. But if you do that, I get to put 1-1 one, one counters on, my, on anything, and I get to create a food, just so everybody knows. They're exiled face up. You can only play them on our turn, right? Yeah, you can only. Well, you can play them at instant speed if they're instants. Um, z uh, okay. uh, Zaddy, um, you can un you can reveal the card. They have to be revealed. Oh, yeah, mine's just a land. Cool. Yeah, you can play it. So on your turn, I will go ahead and pass. So on tap up, keep draw. Since it's an exile, I might as well just 
Trash. Hey, it's a 10 10, man. That's not trash. You get to swing a big 10 10. Play a mountain and land for turn. Gonna make me suck my board. <clears throat> so this would just be exiled. Um. All right, we are going to... Oh, did you play the land? Or no? No, I didn't. Okay. I played three. Oh, it's only two. I'm actually done. Two to equip uh, the plate onto Nia. And then, I feel like fighting. Play a red green to cast Arnie slays the troll. Target creature I control fights up to one target creature I don't control. Uh, let's see. We got orcs treasures. Is that a eight eight? That is, is a, a 10, 10, 10, 10 10 because of the counter. Oh my god. Um, it's not scary at all. Nah. Nah, it's literally quite the opposite. Uh, and then we got the goose, and then we got Rocco. Um, I'll fight the goose. No, wait. Your commander's on the battlefield. I'll fight John. Hmm. Can I respond to the cast of Bash? Can you respond to it? Where is it? You targeting it? Yeah. Yeah, like can I respond like is is that what is that? Is that a spell that's targeting my it's commander? A, it's a ability from the saga. Oh. So can I am I able to counter it? Well you would have had to counter it when it was on the stack, yeah. but you wouldn't have known who it was targeting until it hit the battlefield. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Ugh, unfortunate. Okay. Um I will draw a card because something fought or blocked. <clears throat> I love Nath. Um. So is Nath technically down to zero now? For toughness? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's indestructible, so. Until you're in step. Yeah. Uh. Crap. I don't like any of these cards in my hand. Okay. Then I'll play another two. I'm going to cast Epic Confrontation, uh, giving this a plus one, plus two, so it's a four, two. Sure. It fights target creature I don't control. I will fight. I'll fight Rocco. So, in response to the targeting with the spell on the stack, I'm going to pay three. And I'm gonna chaos warp your Nyeth. Okay. <clears throat> All the removal are out to start here. I'm not having that. <laughs> yeah, I would have done something as well if I if it wasn't a saga, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, you got two blue open. <laughs> yeah. well, that's what I was kind of scared to do it at first. I was like, I don't know if he's going to counter this shit or not. Yeah, the saga is a good way around that because you don't need to claim your targets first. Because that's why I hesitated. I was like, maybe oh, you won't fight my guy. All right, top card. And Apex Altasaur. Well, that's my a problem. Holy fucking shit. That's <laughs> when, it, <laughs> when it ETBs, it fights up to one target creature I don't control. <laughs> You should probably get rid of the uh the probably get rid of the ten ten. So actually well, then it will die if I fight the ten ten. You can you fight everything. Oh it does fight everything. Yeah, every Yeah, whenever it's dealt damage it fights. Oh but, uh, my god. The power will go down like slowly, so it's, you wanna kill the ten ten. It's power it's power won't go down, it's toughness will. It's toughness will go down. So it can fight everything. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not yeah, I can't fight. Yeah, it. so I, I, I think I'll fight. I think, every, I think everybody's gonna die essentially. Sure. Two. Yeah. Two. Three. Yeah. Crap. 
Yay. Pseudo board wipe. Let's go. Yep. And that Damn will it. die too. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. So sorry. Oof. Big oof. Wow, so that's so unfortunate. God dang it, I passed. So much card draw I could have had. <clears throat> and 10 didn't even get to swing. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm just happy that even if my creature had to die, every other creature died too. Yeah. Can't get them all, get them all. Yeah, oh, that makes me happy. My John is dead first. Sunken Hollow. Land for turn, then I'm going to go ahead and cast the ding from the exile. Yeah, you got it. I don't get any benefit from it now. Yeah. 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 I will cast Yawgmoth Grand Physician. Damn. That's great with your commander. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna pass after that. Okay, I'm checked. I, I think I want Chinese. My sister said to you, I'm definitely ordering Chinese. Do you oh, just call her like I'm telling you? Yeah. <laughs> And she said, I'll call you back in two minutes. It's been oh. 30, 30 minutes. I'll tap to and cast the Greaves from yeah. Exile. Um, and then I'll tap... Ooh. I'm gonna change the mana I used to do that. Something like that. Then I'm gonna tap to and cast a... My favorite name for a card ever, uh, Thought Eater. Oh. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer, and it says your maximum hand size is reduced by 3. Oh, that's fun. Ah, cards Very back fun. in the day. <laughs> there. That's yes. a great, great card. It's a 2-2 two -two uh, flying the for 2, them, it has to have a drop. Why not? Yeah. It has to have a drop. It's such a, such a little drawback, you know, it's nothing major. I only have 4 cards in my hand, so I won't have this card, and I'll pass. Alrighty, I won't tap. I cannot click that card. What is it? Oh, there it goes. The maximum size is reduced. I'll play a command off. tower as my land for turn. I am going to pay three, and I will play Baldorn oh, Dreadwolf Herald. Um, when I cast a spell from exile or a land enters battlefield under my control from exile, create a two-two green wolf creature token. Hello. And I can pay one to tap it to discard a card. Exile the top card of my library. I can play it this turn. So I'm oh, gonna go turn. ahead and pay three mana. And we're going to cast Commander Sphere, which will net me a wolf token. Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Here's a wolf. Um, then I will pass yeah, the turn. I'll cross the street like where the Kroger is. I'll add a red, the second one won't matter. Priorities work. Man, why don't you look at the menu and tell me, because they close in like 50 minutes. Text me. Hey, thanks for uh, sending me a friend request there on Discord, Walnut. Chase, appreciate it. Hell yeah, man. First game uh, is hella fun, and this game has been fun as well. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will add you to uh, to my channel, to, or to my uh, Discord server too. That way. Yeah, why not? Two, two, three, four, yeah. and two for the packs. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, attempt to recast. Yep. Yep. Counter. <laughs> yeah, counter magic. <laughs> we got two left. Uh, we'll use that red from the, the uh, Saga and two to re-equip Darksteel to him. And then I will pass the turn. This is looking like a big Voltron deck right now, and it's not. <laughs> uh, land for turn, Frostboil Snow, revealing an island. Um, hmm. I'll tap six. That's my Mander. Yeah, you did. Mander. Sauron the um, Dark Lord. Then, 
I'm going to go to combat. You got any responses, Walnut, before he before the spell resolves? You got two blue mana open. I just want to make sure. Oh. Yeah, I don't love countering people's commanders, so I'm not going to. Fair enough. Oh, cool. All right, I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing Yawgmoth at you, Chase. <laughs> okay, now I regret my decision. Was that the, was that the anime called blood? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only a, it's only a two four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take that too. Nani, okay. Nani, just just getting the ball rolling, nothing crazy. I'm gonna pass after. Wait, why did I just do that? What the heck? Um, yeah, after that, I don't have anything else, so I'm gonna just pass. The betrayal. I just felt drop. Top ten <laughs> anime betrayals. Uh, Swamp. Land for turn. Ah, I don't have what I want. Oh, mm, do I do it anyway? Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna go with six to recast John. Greaves to John. I got a. I got a question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you gonna give that beast to me? <laughs> what would happen if I said yes? Nothing, nothing in particular, just curious. Uh, cards in hand is what I will ask. I got three, I got five. How about you, Zombie Daddy? Zombie. He's you're, you're muted, Zombie Daddy. Just say no. Oh, he only got one. Uh, so you said you one that I really would. Uh, yeah, giving watch. it to any of us doesn't really affect us all that much. Our regular. Yeah, so let's, I'll see what happens. Fuck it. We'll, or I guess I'll go to combat first. Okay. I'll swing two in the okay, air okay. at. Uh, oh. Right. My bad. I'll, I'll go in Chinese too. What happened to me? Oh, nothing. We were just trying to. Nothing. He was trying to figure out how many cards people had in hand. Oh shoot. Uh, five. Oh, okay, five. So that would be the. Oh. Miracle. Uh... Okay. Yeah. I'll swing two in the air at you, Ragnarok. Okay. I'll take it. And then I'll go to end step. John will trigger. At your in response, two, one, to John, in response to John trigger, I'm gonna pay two. Yeah. One of them's red, and I'm just gonna play March of Reckless Joy. Um, I'm gonna exile the top X cards in my library. X is X is one. Yeah. Um, and I'm I can play until the end of my next turn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exile a Thorn Mammoth, and I'm just gonna exile it to the end of my next turn. And play I can play it till my end. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll put two one one counters on the thought eater, and I will give it to Zombie Daddy because he did kill my commander originally. That will be where that goes. All right. So Zombie Daddy, your max hand size is reduced by three. I don't think he's here currently. Oh, okay. He just walked off, but we'll tell him once he comes back. And I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go ahead. And I will. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, I'll pay seven mana. That's not good. And I'm gonna play the Thorn Mammoth I exiled with March of Reckless Joy. On cast, I get a second wolf. So I'll have two wolf tokens. And then it ETBs. And Thorn Mammoth will go ahead and fight. Uh, Yogmoth. <laughs> okay. It's a good choice. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was. Well, so, Zombie Daddy, I, on my turn, I ended up giving you the Thought Eater. So, you have a 4-4 fly, uh, four, four flyer, and your max hand size is reduced by 3. Okay. Um... It's, oh, um... no, no, it's not, it's not your turn yet. You're good. Oh. You just do it at your end step. Yes, and yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I will pass the turn, and it'll be Zombie Daddy's turn. Draw. 
last saga will go off. I gain life equal to the greatest power, so I'll just gain three. Nice. One, four. Two, three. You have my oh, four. 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 That's Sorry. right, yeah, I got the you're right. So now my maximum hand size is just re reduced to four cards. Okay. Three. Correct. All right. Um that's cool. Uh if I do that, I'm just gonna draw a card. It's gonna be kind of pointless if I do that. So let's have a colorless floating up the solar rings. And a red, I'm going to cast Blazing Sunsteel. I'm tripping. Well, um, you have two counters now, I think. One. There, Ragnarok. Two. Three. Yeah, I have three. Three? Okay. Yeah. Um, with that one I have floating from the solar ring, two, three, four, I will equip the Blazing Sunsteel to Naya. It gets a plus one, plus oh for each opponent I have. Six three. Whenever she's dealt damage, uh, it deals that much damage to any target. Nice. Um, God. The biggest thing on board is what? Probably the mana. Or no, Ragnarok's commander. Oh yeah, seven six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, seven, 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 seven. So Ooh, we're, not, we're not gonna do that because the target that I gotta sack something legendary. Yes, that's uh, okay. For one green. Shisa. I'm going to cast Tail Swipe. Um this cast during my main phase, so this creature doesn't get a plus one plus until the end of turn and fight another creature. So it's a seven four. And I will Fight, can't fight that goddamn Sauron. Sure you can. You have indestructible. You can. Yeah, but I have to target. And to target it, I have to sack something. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sauron sucks like that. Um, you can't sack my thing. I kind of like the Thorn Mammoth because if you fight my stuff, I get to draw. Yeah. We can be friends that way. That's true. We could be friends that way. If we can agree to be friends like that. Yeah, we can be friends like that. That's fine. All right. Friends forever. Ready, friends. Um, I'm going to fight your orc army, Ragnarok. Okay. Cool. And then I will draw a card for fighting. Three, four, five. Um, can that thing you gave me attack this time? It has to yeah. attack this time. Hey. Is goaded, can't attack me. And it uh, and it uh, it can't, it went through an upkeep phase on your turn, so you're good. It can attack. Oh, I could have fought. I keep forgetting. I should have fought something with that. Okay. Um. So I'll move to the combat, and I guess I'll swing for. And I can't attack the person giving it to me. Um. I'll swing for it, Ragnarok. Yep. I draw when it attacks. That's like a more toxic version of Zedru, the Gear Hardy, or Great Hardy. I like that. Yeah. I'll pass. I built that deck once and I, it didn't work the way I thought it was going to. Cool. This one's a lot of fun. It creates some chaos. I'm going to play a lane for turn of chaos. Oh, shoot. My bad. I missed something. Whenever a crit creature was dealt damage. It does that much damage to any target. What I have this fight? That orc was a 4-4, four, four, right? Yeah. Uh, Chase, I'll do 4 to your face. Ouch. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna tap Relic of Sauron. No, I'm not. <laughs> I gotta reduce my hand by one. Okay. I'm gonna tap two. The cast Sting the Glinting Dagger. Ooh. Any response? I don't know what it does. Give me one sec. Uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. At the beginning of each combat, untap equipped creature 
and it has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or orc. Nice. That's cool. And no response. Yeah, that's good. No. I'm going to tap two and equip it to my commander. Nice. Now you can just attack. Uh, yes. And now I'm going to go to the combat. Yeah. Uh, I would like to swing at you, zombie. Well, fuck. Uh, Rocco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't have trample, right? Uh, no. Um. Right. Uh, no. I'll, I'll just put a two-two wolf in front of it. Okay. Okay, yep. Uh, after that, I'm gonna pass. Huh. I'm gonna go to the draw. God damn it, can I, I draw anything else? <laughs> Are right. you just drawing lands? I will play, um, <laughs> island. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. You get to draw off of the attacks from John, Ar from John Arenicus's creatures, right? Yeah, I do. This is the lowest off the board again. There's as many of them. Okay. Go like this. I'll tap five. And I'll cast a Greater Harvester. Uh, it's a five six. And it reads At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a permanent. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices two permanents. Greater harvest. Um, uh, indeed. Horror. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, I will go straight to my end step. Uh, that thing is scary. That thing is also scary. There's a bunch of scary stuff all around. I already gave zombie something, so I will put two one one counters on the harvester, and I'll give it to you, hot zombie. Hot zombie gets it, yeah. Ooh. So it is oh, a oh, seven oh, eight, yeah. and at the beginning of your upkeep, sack a permanent. Okay, it's a seven eight currently, but it's a it's a five six normally. Five six base, yeah. Yep, with two one one. Sounds good. My turn? That is my turn. I will pass, yeah. Right, I will untap upkeep trigger. I will sacrifice the wolf token. Oh no. I will draw. Uh, interesting. Not super useful in this game currently. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we're just gonna pay five. I'll play my commander. Rocco. Street ship. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Um, all right, then we are. Oh, we get a trigger from Thorn Mammoth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Thorn Mammoth fight the Orc army. Okay. <laughs> um, and then what are we gonna do? Got two mana. Um, uh, we'll do that. We'll do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pay two, and I'm going to play Pia Nalar, uh, Consul of uh, Consul of Revival. Thopters I control have haste, and whenever I cast a play a land or cast a spell from exile, I create a one-one colorless Thopter creature token with flying. Mm. Um. And then I can choose to have Thorn Mammoth fight something, but I don't feel like having it die currently. So I will just pass the turn. At my end step, we all exile for Rocco. I you... exile a relic. Wait, 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 I will do that. I will or do actually, that. Well, you don't get to draw a card, I guess, because you're not fighting. But you get to block it, and it won't hurt you. It won't hurt you, though. Yeah, I'll block it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you're not taking any damage. Um, how much is it? How big is it, though? It's a 7-8. Oh, 
I will <laughs> deal seven damage. <laughs> to... Get rid of the mammoth. The who? He the wants mammoth. he wants you to kill the mammoth because I'm killing the orc army with it. What do I get in return? I don't know. You give I'm me not... twenty dollars. Cash cash at me twenty dollars. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's that black thing he has that's under control? Oh, you know what? You know what? No. I'll, I'll just do seven of zombie directly. Sure, I'll take seven. Yeah. Um, all right, so we go to my end step. We exile the top card of the library. Mine's a Relic of Legends. And we can play them until the end of my next turn. Ugh, the Tarrasque. Okay. Merc Sky Blade. Diamond. Cool. And I will pass from there. God damn it. Merc with bats. It's such a great card. I'm not getting the mana that I need. Oh my goodness. Uh, Alright, let's go green and red. We're going to cast Goblin Anarchiomancer. Nice. So, green red spells cost one less to cast. Let's go. Red, green for Halana and Elena partners. Oh, nice. First right reach at the beginning of combat on my turn. I put X11 counters on another target creature I control, where X is uh, Halana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste. Uh, three. Damn. Uh, none of those help. I will move to the beginning of combat. I'm going to give Mia plus two to end a turn. And I'm also going to pay three to double her power. So right now it's a 13, five. Um, if I double the target creature's power to a turn, that creature must be blocked as combat is able. Sure. I will go at, does that blue thing stop the attack? Yeah, it's goaded. It yes. To. Every time, oh shit, okay. For the rest of the game, yeah. Okay, then hold on. I forgot I had that. Okay, so I'm still going to do the same thing, but I'm going to give the plus two to that thing. So it's... What is it right now? It's a... Is it plus two or two one one counters? It's two one one counters. All right, yeah, so it's a six six. So it's a six six, and then it's... I'm paying the three to double it, so... It's a twelve six right now, flying. Just and I will spend that... Uh, let's send that at. Gotta catch me at chase. That's a suck. Yeah. We'll swing, the, we'll swing the twelve in the air. At. Let's see. Hot zombie, and then I'll send six on the ground. At you, Ragnarok. I got a twenty-one. I draw when that attacks. Um, I will tap three and flash in Mithril Coat. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to target legendary creature I control, unless there is a response. I got none. Nope. Okay. Nope, good. All right. Uh, equipped creature has indestructible. Um, I'll block it with my commander. Okay, and oh, hold on. You're good. Such a shit. My damn HDMI just slipped. Out. You're good. No worries. Uh, bye. America. Okay, let me reset this camera. It's never good when things slip out. Haha. <laughs> uh.
He's not lying. All right, so I put my hand down. I don't think it's crazy. Uh, all right, so how big is he? He is a eight seven. Okay, so I will do eight damage to Chase. Mm. Ouch. And then uh, because he was blocked, I will draw a card. I have four cards in hand. Okay. Um, I'll have to pass the turn after that. I'm All going right. to do this card to remind myself his name. I will. Yeah. Draw. All right. Cool. It's a six. Okay. Three. Four, five. I'm gonna cast this four. I'm gonna cast Mirkwood Bats. Alright, uh trigger Rocco. I get a food mm -hmm. token and a one one counter. So I'm gonna get a food and I will put a one one counter on something. I'm gonna go ahead and put a one one counter on my thorn mammoth. I didn't think Rocco oh, I never seen Rocco put oh I guess that's pretty good. Super good. And that's every insta? Oh just your insta, okay. Uh, yep, just my end step when things get exiled. But if anybody plays anything from exile, Rocco triggers on his second ability. Uh, all right, I'm gonna tap my Relic of Sauron for a black and a red. I'm gonna cast, attempt to cast Goblin Bombardment. Nice. Yep. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, I will go to combat. I am going to swing from the chandelier. Uh, <laughs> I'll swing Sauron at you, Naeth. My name is Naeth of Pedro. I'm saying, I'm not, so I'm not calling you the second half by your name. I'm not doing that. I don't understand why not. Because I'm not doing that. Definitely not. You can call me daddy if you want. Okay, so 44 life, I'm swinging at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, uh, does that trample or anything? Mm, no, but it has first strike as long as it's blocking a goblin, or excuse me, as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin. Yeah, or, or. this just happens to be a goblin shaman, so I'll block. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, main phase two. I'm going to sack my orc army. I will succeed. Um, oh my goodness. I'll do one damage to. Well, I'll do one to you, uh, zombie. Bro, what the hell? No, no, hot zombie, not zombie daddy. Oh. No, uh, 43. Oh, okay. Uh, 43. Yeah, one oh, okay. To you. Okay, you're sending it to zombie daddy. Got it. He knows to call me daddy. That why would anyway? Um, I'm gonna pass bro, after. It's okay, bro. Oh, and each opponent loses one life since I sack a token. Yeah, you got it. Wow. Okay. Mirkwood bitches. Uh, do I want to go to my turn yet? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, is that the grudge? I don't do the grudge. <laughs> that's exactly where my brain went to. Yeah, that's, yeah, that gave me PTSD. Give, give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. My cats just need to be let out of my room. Mm -hmm. I'll play a reliquary tower. So I no longer have a maximum hand size. I'm gonna...
Fucking screw it. It's time to be aggro. One, two, three, four. I am going to cast a desecration elemental. Oh. Uh, it's an eight-eight with fear, and it says whenever a player plays a spell, sacrifice a creature. What? Yeah, it's the worst one in here. It's probably the worst one in here. Um, I'm gonna go right to my end step. That's a four drop. What? Yeah, it's but it's yeah, it's it's bad it. if oh, you if, if you play it, it's really bad for you. Oh, the raid player. Okay. This was made before before giving away creatures was a thing. Um, I will trigger John two one one counters on the desecration elemental, and uh, somebody's indestructible commander is causing me some issues. So I'm gonna give the desecration elemental over to you, zombie daddy. I understand completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and I created a, a creature, so each opponent's going to lose one life. Sure. Those bats are a problem, too. Not really. Yeah, the, the bats are a bit of an issue, but uh, after that, I'm just going to pass. All right, so you did not cast the Sky Diamond, is what I'm hearing. I did not. No, okay. so it gets things up. I will untap. On your upkeep, you have to. Upkeep, I do have to something. sacrifice something. Um, I do have to sacrifice a creature, right? Permanent. Permanent. A permanent. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll sacrifice a food token. That's fine. All right, I will draw yeah. for turn. Um, let's go ahead. Good God. Yeah, it's it's really good. Um, let's go ahead. What do I want to do? Uh, I guess we'll do this. I'm going to pay three mana. And I will play Relic of Legends. Zombie Daddy, you have to sacrifice a creature because I cast a spell. And each of right. Actually, I'm going to No, you, you're, yeah, you're not creating a creature, so we don't lose a life. You're just adding counters now. I'm, I'm going to respawn yep. to you casting that. Uh... This trigger goes on a stack. Sure. I'm going to sack this orc army. Yep. Each opponent's going to lose one life. Sure. I'll, I'll deal one damage to 41 life. Okay. Then Sauron's trigger is going to resolve. Yep. I'm going to amass one orc. And we all lose a life. And then, and then yeah, everyone lose a life. Okay. Um, I'll get a food token and a 1-1 one, one counter uh, on yes, my I, Thorn Mammoth. You have to... You have to sack a creature zombie. Yeah, because of uh, desecration. No, that's all you can. You, you can't do. sacrifice anything that Chase you gave you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is brutal. Yeah, yeah yep. that's why it's uh, built like that. Yeah. I have a lot of sacrificing because of my things. I also get a wolf, and I get a thopter because of Faldorn and ooh. Oh, you hit his camera. And Damn. Yeah. Knockout punch. Yeah. Down. Angle. There we go. All right. So because of that, I get a Thopter and a Wolf because of Pia and Faldorn. So I have a one-one flying Thopter. <clears throat> all right. Uh, yep. That's all. We'll just let fly on it. There we go. Uh, and then because creatures entered the battlefield, I get to fight. I actually have two fight triggers. I'm going to go ahead and just use one of them, though, and I'm going to fight the bats with my Thorn Mammoth. Okay. Cool. Uh, actually, I'm going to respond in a second. Yep. And I'll deal one damage to you directly. All right, I will take one damage. Um, all right, then what else are we gonna do? We have we have things. Um, let's go ahead, and I'm going to pay one to activate Faldorn to exile the top card of my library, and I can play it this turn. So we exile a Wear Tear. 
Nice. So I will probably end up casting that. Um, let's go ahead and we will pay three mana to play. Well, and we'll do it like this. We'll pay three mana to play the fused fused wear tear. On cast, I get another one one counter. So I'll put a counter onto Thorn Mammoth. I'll also get a wolf. Whoa. I'll have two wolves and two thopters. Two wolves. You will also have to sack a creature, Zombie Daddy, on that cast. Yeah, zombie Daddy has to sack a creature. Um, wear Tear will go ahead and destroy an enchantment and an artifact. I also have another food. Um, I will go ahead and blow up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blow up. The Goblin Bombardment as my enchantment. And then the artifact will be... Is Mithril Coat indestructible? Yes. Mithril Coat is indestructible. Okay. Um, then I will go ahead and blow up uh, the... Uh, I'll blow up Sting. Um. So, actually, I don't think you can cast both of those. Because you can, you can, you can fuse them. Oh, from my hand. Have... Oh, yeah, yeah, from my hand. You're right, you're right, you're right. You got me. You got me. Um, I will just go ahead and do... A white mana to cast tear, and okay. I will uh, and I'll blow up the uh, the goblin bombardment. Okay. That's oh yeah, that's right. You can't cast both. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. Um, okay. Cool. And I also have fight triggers. I will also. Go uh, zombie dad. One sec. One sec. Uh, zombie dad, do you have any creatures left? Uh, the one you gave me. And that one can't be yeah, sacrificed. Yeah. The, you have, you have the two, the two that I had. I oh, and I guess before. the eight eight. I don't know um, if it's happening. That. What? Uh, the the ten ten is tapped, and the six six flyer I believe is also tapped. But I'm going to actually do something maybe, or actually no, I won't. I'm going to wait. Sorry, press here. So I have the fight trigger from Thorn Mammoth, which is going to go ahead and also fight the orc army from Ragnar. Okay. Um, all right. Then. <sighs> okay. How are we gonna do this? Just do that, or for what specifically? Sure. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pay, there's three, one, and then tapping for the Relic of Legend, one, two, and we'll tap this for three as well. Um, so I'll have, uh, X is three, and I'm going to play Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. Um, and I'll search for an X3 creature put on the battlefield. I'm going to respond. Sure. Attempt two. Uh, I would like to Arcane Denial. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Zombie Daddy, the creature that I gave you on my turn is also uh, tapped. When I oh. give it to you, it uh, taps it. Uh, and Zombie Daddy has no creatures that he can sacrifice because two of the two creatures he has are yours. Um, okay. Yes. So then I get to draw two cards on the next upkeep, right, Ragnarok? Correct. And I draw one. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to my end step, and we will exile for Rocco. You have to. Oh, have I have to, to attack with Graver Harvester. Oh. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack into Ragnarok with Greater Harvester. I'll or seven. With your commander? Yeah. Greater Harvester is a seven, eight. Oh, yeah, it's indestructible. Your commander's indestructible. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, the Harvester will die, though. The Harvester will die. Oh, man. That's there we true. go. Uh, I draw when it attacks, and yeah, that happens. All right, now we'll go to end step. Rocco Trigger. We all exile the top card. I have a generous patron. Plague Reaver. All right. Then I will pass her. We can cast these spells till my next end step. And on the next upkeep, I will draw two cards. Is this the sesame one? Is this the sesame one? Yeah. Your egg rolls are right there. You don't eat egg rolls? Okay, cool. 
So this one, I guess, goes to exile because. Yeah. Has to... And then I will draw for turn. My maximum hand size is still reduced. But... Yeah, your max hand size. Oh uh, yeah, still it's still reduced. four. I should probably untap this stuff. Um. I don't really know who, like, to target. Really, I don't really. I guess probably it's um, hot zombie, right? I feel like, like he's got a board. I do have a pretty good board. <laughs> uh. I really have nothing I can do. Let's see. You can swing big. <laughs> I might even be able to just kill Pot Zombie like right now. Because the 1010 has fear and the 6 6 is blocked. I have artifact creatures. The 1010 can be blocked. Oh, and okay. they're flyers. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. I grab one of the Alright, spend my commander again. It's only going to get sacked. So. Uh. I'll play three for a Rhythm of the Wild. Nice, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'll play four to equip Blazing Sunsteel to this thing. Goes up to 11. Mm -hmm. And then I will move it to combat and swing 11 at hot zombie. I'll put a thopter in front of it. You have to swing the other one as well. Oh, yeah. And then I'll just the that zombie as well. I'll block with the other thopter since that is a flyer as well. Okay. So. The thopters are one ones, right? The thopters are one ones, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do one damage to chase directly. Nice. Ouch. And then I won't be able to cast this on the next one, so I'll just be exiled. One, two, three, four, five cards in hand to discard one. And then I'll pass. Uh, I have uh, my response on your upkeep Ragnarok on your upkeep I'm gonna tap uh, three and I'm going to cast a wrong turn uh, target opponent gains control of target creature I'm gonna have hot zombie gain control of the desecration elemental are oh, you gonna give me the desecration elemental yeah because right. now zombie daddy doesn't have any creatures anymore so there's no point of it being over there Sounds good. so if we take the equipment on it too yeah, it'll he stay. would have it on him, but you control it still. So you can unequip it okay. uh, whenever you want. Well, whenever you can do that. Yeah, whenever, yeah, on your turn, I mean. Oh. Now, whenever someone casts a spell, Hot Zombie will have to suck a creature. Hey, look, I think I can get in on Chase on my turn, just saying. But I, like, I can't be sacrificing too much stuff. Uh, two. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and sack this treasure finally. Three and four. I'm going to attempt to cast Perforos God of the Forge. That's a good one. I have to sacrifice a creature. I will sacrifice a wolf token. I will respond to Perforos. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tap two and I'll play counter spell. Counter I'll sacrifice another wolf token. Uh, uh, you know, that's too low to match. One. Uh, black, red, and blue. I'm going to cast Fiery Inscription. I will sacrifice Faldorn. 
All I'm saying is, you keep casting spells, I'm not going to be able to win this game for us. Or at least keep us from having to deal with all this crap. Um, it's going to ETB. The ring is going to tempt me. You know, whenever I cast an instant of sorcery spell, uh, it deals two damage to each opponent. My commander is going to trigger. Uh, I'm going to discard my hand and draw four cards. Goddamn. Hate. That counter spell is in my hands. It's my starting hand. Figured you were leaving blue open the whole time. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, so uh, I'm going to tap two, uh, black and a red. And I'm going to cast Breaking of the Fellowship. Okay, I will sacrifice another creature. All I'm saying is I'm running out of ways to deal damage to Chase. I will sacrifice PNLR. Like he's trying to progress his board. Okay. I, I, um, under, I understand that. I'm just saying if I kill you, then he can progress his board. Two two damage to each opponent. Um, yep, two damage to each of us. Target creature an opponent controls deals damage equal to its power to another target creature that player controls. I'm going to have... Ooh. The desecration elemental fight your mammoth. The mammoth or will die. Fight. So here's the thing. I was going <laughs> to attack. I, I was going to attack Chase with my mammoth. If you kill, if you make it fight my mammoth, desecration elemental is an 11 11. My mammoth's a 9 9. The mammoth will die, and then I will have nothing to attack Chase with. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm not. But like I'm under, not an issue. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just. But understand that Chase is going to beat us right now. If that, if you let this keep happening, Chase will win. He's not going to win. I, I'm not going to win with what I have. All right. If you wanted to fight my mammoth, my mammoth is dead. Okay. And then the ring is going to tempt me again. I'm going to discard three and draw four. And two damage was dealt, correct? Uh, I believe one. so, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Tap one, I'm going to cast Sam's Rescue. Desperate Rescue. Uh, All right, Rocco this, dies. This is going to be a little pointless, but I'll return Woody Rosemaster to my hand, and then the ring is going to tempt me, and I'll discard my hand and draw four. Oh, my bad. I went PP Kaka, what I missed. Okay. You took two damage. I took two damage? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go. Oh, we all take two damage off. Board. I can't. My whole board is gone. I know. I just I was explaining to zombie. I know. I was explaining to zombie what happened. Okay. I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to swing Sauron and my orc army at you, Chase. Which in total it is a 12 damage. Bro, what happened to his board? I guess the orc. Uh, the orc is. I like... have the de desecration demon zombie, daddy. Yeah, so sorry. I sat. My uh, whole board got sacked because Ragnarok kept playing stuff. I also have. Uh, so the ring has tempted me more than four times. Uh, so I have like the yeah. whole thing with Sauron. Um, when he attacks, I'll draw and discard. Draw and I'll discard a. Just do a swamp. And then oh, whenever you shit. Can... Yeah. I will block your commander with my commander and I'll die. Who okay. told the fuck about that? <laughs> and then So the orc will deal four damage to you. <sighs> yeah. And whenever an army I control deals combat damage to a player. The ring will tempt me. I'm going to discard my hand and draw four. Nice work. All right. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and just pass. This lane is going to be gone forever. 
I need to find a way of protecting myself now. Draw. Oh, that's not going to help. Ah! I went for turn. What's the deal? Well, I can't give shit away now, so should I cast all this stuff? Yeah, screw it. You can still give I'll away the plague uh, dude, right? No, I don't have John anymore. It gives itself away, though. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Then the person's able to swing at me with it, though. That's fair. So, I mean, uh, I'll tap four and i will cast an abyssal prosecutor oh that's a one it's a six six flying trample and it says you can't win the game and your opponents can't lose the game nice. uh, i guess i'll put the greaves on it because nothing else to put it on yeah fair and i will say spooky six mana open and pass <laughs> Oh, it's not seven. That's a spooky six. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I will go ahead and play a planes. Um, let's see. I guess we will just go ahead and start this off by... I'm going to tap my commander sphere for a green, and I will sacrifice it to have a green floating, and I'll draw a card. Um, then I'll use that floating green, and I'll tap the Relic of Legends for a green as well. And I'll tap this plains and this mountain. And we are going to play a Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifact and enchantments. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller creates a 3-3 green centaur creature token. Hmm. I think I might be okay with that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I only got one. This gets destroyed and these get destroyed, so I'll get three centaurs. So we'll get three centaurs as well. I'm sorry, wait, what am I destroying? It's an artifact. Uh, artifacts, yeah, and enchantments. Three centaurs, so this plague reaper goes away. What was the name of that card again? Uh, oh, Rampage of the Clans. Oh, uh, let's see. Then I will pay three mana to play my generous patron from exile. Nothing happens, but hey, here we are. Um, I could have, I could have just done something. Crazy. Oh, support! Actually, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I am going to support two, and I'll get to draw some more cards. Uh, I'm gonna put a one-one counter on the abyssal persecutor, and I'll put a one-one counter on another one of your centaurs there, Chase. So I get to draw two cards. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and then we will pay. Oh, I had to sacrifice a creature because I played a spell. That's annoying. Okay, whatever. Um, then I will pay three mana to play a Squee the Immortal. I'll sacrifice the um, But hey, I got to draw some cards. Um, then I will go to combat and I will send 10 damage at Ragnarok in the air. Or for fear. fear. I'll block it. Yep, sounds good. I will mm -hmm. pass. So you make centaurs based on how much stuff you destroyed, right? Yep. And are the centaurs, are the centaurs black? They're green. Uh, your soul ring is uh, destroyed too, there, zombie. Ragnarok? He blocked with his commander, it's black. 
Oh, that's true. Uh, zombie daddy, oh, your yeah, uh, your soul me. ring's gone too, bud. Oh shit! Wow. The hate. <laughs> um, so three, three, three. All right. I ain't never seen a black centaur. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just set me back. Oh my All god. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to deal with a bunch of stuff on Ragnarok's board. I'll pay three. Oh, I'm stupid. Two for a signet. Alright, I have to sack a creature. I'll sacrifice Squee the Immortal. Um, Squee the Immortal. And then... Oh, no. I'll do three for E-Witness. I will sacrifice a Centaur token. Bring back so sad. I'm gonna bring back the soul ring and cast it. I will sacrifice generous patron. Um, and then I guess I gotta swing with this. So six in the air at Ragnarok. <clears throat> and then I'll pass. Okay. I'm here. I'm gonna leave my mic because I'm eating Chinese food. I don't want to be rude. It's all good, man. No worries. We all okay. got it. I'm gonna tap three. I am going to cast Yehini Undying Partisan. Nice. I have no creatures and to sacrifice. <laughs> Ooh. Biscuit eating bulldog. Um I'm going to swing my commander. Uh, swing my commander and spark army, both at you, Chase. Uh, trigger, I'll draw a card. Just... How big is the orc army? It is in 11 11. Uh, I'll block both with the centaurs. Okay, hey, this motherfucker and his car alarm outside is fucking not shutting up. Oh, that's rough. There we go. Main phase two. I will tap two. And cast the spell Skype. And then. I'm going to pass a turn after that. Um, okay. Uh, Two swaps. Draw. Holy. There's something in one. Give Ragnarok that Abyssal Persecutor. <laughs> I can't give everybody anything. My fucking commander costs eight now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine mana, you're good. I know, but I don't have my Vulcan <laughs> mana. And uh, I guess I'm gonna fucking lose if I don't, uh. Not necessarily. Nice, just, just gonna swing at me if I don't have protection. I need to protect myself and see what the hell else happens. So I'm gonna tap. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. 
and play a familiar friend, Pod Zombie from last game, Obherent Overlord. Oh, nice. Uh, ETB, I'll create four one one flyers. I'm a I'm a respawn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna attempt to. Is it legendary? No, it is All not. Right. Uh, okay. First, I will put the counter on this homie, and then I'm gonna cast Glorious Gale, counter target creature spell. If it was legendary, the ring tempts me, but that was not the case. Oof. What's its mana cost? Two. Alright, I'll tap out everything else. I really don't want to, and I'll cast the Convolute, the counter target spell, unless its controller pays four. Nice. Ooh, I haven't seen Convolute in a while. Yep. Yeah, it's, a, it's an oldie. Uh, so uh, I'll still create the four one one flyers, but now I don't have any mana up, so I doubt it'll matter too much. And I will pass. Alrighty, I will untap. Upkeep and draw. Oh, fun stuff. I'll play a white border mountain. Um. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, it's just like me, man. First, I'll go to combat. I will attack Ragnarok with a 10-10 fear. I will block. Put my commander. Oh, yeah, it untaps. Nice. Um, cool. That's your... Oh, yeah, it untaps. Um, Actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't untap. All right, cool. It's destroyed. Um, uh -huh. I'll throw it. Oh, I will sack a centaur. Actually, you had Yeah, and I'll block with you, Henny. Yep, sounds good. Um, I'm going to pay two mana to cycle this barrier breach, and I'll draw a card. I will tap a mountain to play a soul. I will pay one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll pay seven mana to play Jetmir. Or not Jetmir. Why did I tap Jetmir's guard in the front of range right there? I'm going to pay three, play Rocco. Or pay seven, whatever. Go to end step. We all exile the top card of our library. I'm going to exile a Jahira, friend of the forest. Demonic <laughs> Rising. Fierce Guardianship. Alrighty. I will go ahead and pass the turn. Oh man! Ooh. This has been a wild game. Right. Yeah, the the exact two things that could really fuck me up happened in this game, and one of them is having <laughs> Nyeth out there, and one of them is having just absolutely miserable other creatures to deal with. <laughs> um, if I had a way of give of taking it from me, giving it to Ragnarok, I would, but I cannot. Cool. Um. Ah, oh, nothing has reduced in my hand. That sucks. Two, three, four, Sorry, card falling out. five, six. I'm going to attempt to cast a lurking predator. Uh, I have to sacrifice Rocco. Uh, fuck. All right, that's fine. Actually, and then... I guess I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to move the discard. You got to attack. Oh. Yeah, you got to attack the 6-6 six, six player. I'll the 6. Um, uh, Ragnarok, you have the most life. You have the most life. Besides me. <laughs> And then I'll pass. Jesus. Freaking. This Why is there, somebody over there is popular. No, it's, it's not that. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Cool. Land for turn. Um. Uh, 
I need an artifact. Ragnarok, I'm gonna take your spell skite. Uh I'm gonna tap three and cast Scroll of Isildur. Um it enters Ah fuck. There is a trigger on that lurking predators from the cast. Yeah. If Zombie Daddy is there currently. Daddy! Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you got a trigger my guy. There's there's a cast. Uh, lurking there's a cast from, from Ragnarok. Oh, you got a, lurking look you got a lurking yeah. predators trigger. Hell yeah, land. <laughs> Okay, um, it's gonna enter, it'll get the counter. Gain control of up to one target artifact for as long as I control scroll of Isildur. I'm gonna gain control of the uh, dark steel plate. Oh damn. Uh, and then the ring will tempt me. I'm going to discard my hand and draw four. four. All right, what I got? What I got? Man, once Stunt. you got that, once you got that ball rolling, dude, your deck is just going until it stops. <laughs> I'm getting nothing but lanes. All right. Um, Dark steel plate is equipped six, right? Uh, no. I think it's equipped three. Two. Two. Okay. I was wrong. Oh, it's two? Oh, shit. You're thinking about getting some armor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking you were thinking of, too. Um, I was thinking it was right, three. I'm going to just go to combat. I'm going to swing. How did, wasn't the dark steel plate destroyed when you wiped the board? No, it's like indestructible. That? It doesn't destroy it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's indestructible itself. So. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Same thing why, like, the mithril coat wasn't destroyed either. I'm gonna swing Sauron at Chase. So broken. I'll swing my orc. How big I'm is your orc swing. army? It's a 16-16. Kill me. <laughs> kill me, uh, I'm gonna swing it at Wait, if I kill you, will that get that'll get exiled? No, this this will go to uh Chase. This will go to me. Yeah, but it's under your control, right? It was, a, but it was originally owned by Chase, and it was. So here's the thing: the reason things get exiled is if you cast them from exile, you are their controller and owner at that point. Therefore, they get exiled. However, it started on Chase's side and then went to my side. Therefore, it goes back to Chase when I die. Yeah, it's weird rules. Okay. Um, which could be beneficial if you give him the desecration demon, forces him to sacrifice a bunch of stuff. Also, you you can't lose right now, hot zombie. Because oh yeah, I can't die either. <laughs> the Rizzle persecutor, I can't lose. So yeah. I guess don't kill me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll just swing both the Sauron and the Orc army at you again, Chase. Uh, attack trigger. I'll block with two. Hard draw a card. That's ooh. I'll discard a card. Um, and then you say you block? Yeah. Okay. Main phase two. I'm gonna play a land for turn. This land is going to be a Dragon Skull Summit. Yes, because I have a swamp, so it's untapped. Um, after that, I'm gonna have to go to my instep and then pass. Oh, untap. Hey, I forgot that Abyssal Persecutor was coming upkeep. alive. Yeah. Upkeep, I have to sack a creature. I'll sack a Harpy. So I have one now. And draw. Uh, <laughs> island. Turn. I'm just going to grab the island. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Abyssal Persecutor is such a good... Uh, or not Abyssal Persecutor. Uh, Abhorrent Overlord is such a really good... Uh, Aristocrats card. I love it. Yeah, it really is. I don't really know what to do here. 
to be completely honest. Board wipe. Board wipe. Board wipe. Uh, Where's my I don't have wipes? one in my hand, unfortunately. Also, that would just keep Sora on the line and all of us That's dead. True. Well, I mean, you know, if you have a Psychraft. Have... Yeah, or if I have a Psychraft, but I don't have one in here. Do you have any flyers, Ragnarok? I do not, actually. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Ten. Ah, oh, shit. No, but if I do that, then I get that back. I guess I will go to combat. Combat? I will swing. 13 in the air at Ragnarok. I'm going to take all 13. Oh man. Ouch, rip, ouch, my bottoms. I don't do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I will be one short to cast this, I guess. But, oh well. I'll tap. I'll leave that untapped. I'll tap eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll recast John. I'm gonna counterspell it. Oof. Uh, see that that's five right break. there. That's not good. That comes to fuck. I looked. I even looked over at your board and saw all the untapped mana, and I was just wondering. I was like, I could. You know, sometimes you gotta make him yeah. use it, you know? You got sometimes you gotta make him use it. Gore claw. He's probably not gonna be dead now. Oh hey, I look at that. There you go. Prosecutor. So he can't lose, so I actually have no chance now. Uh fuck. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. It has to wait though. I'll pass. Are you going to use that homeward uh, homeward path? No. I want to have a keep draw. It, this wins me a lot of games, though, the homeward path. I bet it does. Then Because you can attack it with all your big beefy things at the right time. Yeah, it's, it's good to finish like, when it gets to a 1v1. It's pretty yeah. much like, the only way I can win. I'm going to play a forest. I don't have much going on now. All my card advantage engines and things are just kaput. Um, let's go ahead. I guess we'll just, uh, we'll play Squee from the graveyard, because we can. Let's go. Go, girl. Aww. And then I will, um, I will pay three mana and play Jahira, sacrificing Squee. Then I'll replay, okay. then I'll replay Squee. Wait, so I got two casts? Two, two more casts, yeah. Kogla and Gadaro. When it ETBs, I choose one against Trample and Hazel in the turn. Or five target creature I don't control. Well, we're definitely doing that shit. Uh, how big is that demon that says nobody can win or lose? 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm going to fight it. Why would you do that? No, it says the person controlling it can't win. And the opponents can't lose. So zombie, so, yeah. so you can't right. lose. So daddy, Wait, so we're we're, we're saying I'm the only saying. one who can't win. Yeah. Wait, so we we are we are currently None saying of you guys can lose. I can. I'm the only one who can't win. Oh, the only one who controls it is the one who cannot win the game. Oh. oh. <laughs> I want to keep that on the board. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> You want it off your board, but on someone else's is what you want. Um. Uh, raw. What's the thing next to it? Apparent Overlord is a 6 6 flyer. That makes me oh. sack on my upkeep. I'll fight that. Okay, I was gonna sack it anyway. <laughs> um, and then you just had a second trigger. Uh, yep. Yeah, so there were three, three, three. There were three triggers total. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that was three visits, and this is a land. Awesome. 
Hey, you're clearing those things off the top. Oh, hate my life. All right. Um, then I will go ahead and pay three mana to cast an Eternal Scourge, which will give you another trigger, and I will sacrifice my Scourge. All right. I'm helping. See. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna move to combat, and I will attack Ragnarok with a ten ten. I am going to. It's not trample, right? Nope, just no. fear. I'll just throw a centaur in front of it. You can't. It has fear. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll sack the centaur so you yeah. can block. I was gonna say, remember those centaurs are not black. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep forgetting. Cause I've never <laughs> seen one, so. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh. This is gone forever. All right, I'm gonna pass turn. Oh, yeah, he's done 37 over here. Let's do <laughs> yeah, right? I was I was slowed down for a while, so I wasn't a threat. Yeah, that lurking predators. Ah, I'm, I, I was trying guy. to I'm trying to get you back in the game with that lurking predators. There's there, daddy. All right, he's been in this. I'm game. going infinite. Huh? <laughs> You're going infinite. What? Every tower. Any responses? I win. All right, boys, go home. <laughs> What you um, playing? Relic played Relic Warrior Tower. Oh yeah, so now you do, now you don't have a reduced hand size. There you go. Um. Oh, but I still only got no fucking mana. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, two, four. He costs. He costs eight to bring out. <clears throat> Sure. I have literally nothing better else to do. Three, four, six, eight. Uh, eight. And I think I'm gonna do like my homies in the streets and pass. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I got this fucking 6-6 six, six thing. Oh, yeah, you gotta attack with the flyer. Um, I do 6 in the air at zombie. At me? I mean, yeah, sure. I'll take, I'll take 6. Now I'll do like my homies in the streets and pass. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, untap. I'll keep draw. Uh, this is gonna go to number two. Tap up the two target creatures. Put a stun counter on each of them. Oh, wow. mm. I'm going to tap down some creatures. Makes sense. Hmm. Wait. Hello. No. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you you may put. Okay. Lurking, lur lurking predators again. I didn't cast anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's from the ability. Got it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna what? tap down the Eternal Witness. And. The uh, the flyer, the blue flyer. It's already tapped. It's already tapped. Oh, okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I'll do the the thing next to Gore Claw. Okay. Okay, they have stun counter, so whenever you go to untap them, uh, you'll just take off the stun counter. Then I'm going to play land for turn. It's going to be a rogue's passage. Paying four mana. Two...
three and four. Tapping Rogue's Passage, I'm going to make my Orc army unblockable. Excuse me. I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to kill the only person I can. Uh, Chase. I am going to... Oh, if people have been playing spells, I have to sacrifice. Did anybody play spells? Sorry. I did not, actually. You didn't? Daddy, did you play spell? Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Well, I oh, well, I recasted my command. Okay, I'll sacrifice uh, Eternal Scourge. I gotta make sure that's gone. Hmm. Fuck. Oh, my God. You are very, very lucky you did not cast a spell. I will die. But if you did cast a creature, I was going to cast a Mystic Reflection oh. and give you an up here at a no visible Prosecutor. Nice. But I'm dead. All right. Well, you know I don't have you know to deal with this. Really funny? <sighs> yeah. You know what's really funny, Zombie? When hmm. you casted that that spell that blew up everyone's uh, yeah. artifacts and created the Centaurs, I had this in my hand. And I also had the prosecutor on the board. Oh. So I could have turned all of those centaurs into prosecutors and would have just completely stalled the game out. That, that is hilarious. Um, I didn't because obvious, but I thought yeah. it was funny. No, that is funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chase, I will absolutely add you to my uh, my Discord channel so we can get more games together. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, it was a fun game, guys. It's definitely game. been fun. Do you have time to stick around for another one or you got to get out? Uh, I gotta get out of here now. Cool, no worries. All, All right, right. GG's, man. GG's man. Thank you for playing. GG's, guys. Um, so uh, when I when I hit him, yep. with the thing, uh, the ring tempted me. Discarded my hand, drew four, tap an island, cast soul ring. Yeah. Okay, that's a trigger on lurking predators for daddy. Yep. Oh, I already know. I don't want to do that. It's damn now. Alrighty. Oh, man. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to keep that. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to keep this here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just pass. Untap. Let's see if I can do anything. I'll drop. It is... Oh, it's not a land! Hell yeah, okay. Alright, that's... That's good news. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, I can't do it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so hard. Okay, uh, I'm going to play a mountain. Maybe I can. We'll see. Um, all right. Adding four. All right. Across seven now. Six, so it costs nine. Damn. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna pay two, five, eight, nine, and we'll play Rocco. He's back. I've cast him four times. Do I get a bonus for that or something? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna play Scurry Oak. Whenever oh. one or more one-one counters are put on Scurry Oak, I may create a one-one green squirrel creature token. Um, then I will move to my end step, and we will exile the top card of our library. I exile a Venture Forth. Ooh, Blue Sun Zenith. Um. Oh man. Oh. Wait, you'll be able to cast it though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what card is that? Last March of the Ents. Oh damn! All right, that's a card. All right, it's all you, Zaddy. All right, let's see what we can do here, boys. Um, wait, who had my dark steel? I do. Bastard. <laughs> um, all right. 
going, but we'll, we'll tap all this. Draw. We're not helping. I just need eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to cast Last March of the Ents. I'm Can't be countered. I would go, huh? I'm going to respond. Okay. I'm going to flash in Notion Thief. Um, I'm also going to respond by countering at Pyroblast. Hey, <laughs> nice. Fuck. Okay. Don't you fucking <laughs> play with me. You try to stop. Yeah, try to stop greatness. Now I'm about to go off. Shut up. <laughs> draw cards. This is for the greatest power. So I'm gonna draw seven cards. Um, and then I can put any number of creature cards from my hand onto the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You better hope I don't get that damn worm. What worm? Uh, brash. Ooh. Any number of creature cards from my hand. Okay. So we'll do Brash, Bow Razor, Thorn Mammoth, Gothama. Oh, jeez. And Gwena. All right, see what we're looking at here. When this ETBs, I might have a fight target creature I don't control. Wait a minute. What? Eternal Witness is tapped. Oh, okay, that's still tapped. So is Kogla. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, so this will fight something that's not going to kill it. I'm going to fight your spell, Skype. Okay. I'm going to sack it to make Yehini indestructible. Okay. I'm going to have Thorn Mammoth. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm going to have Thorn Mammoth fight uh, Scurry Oak thing. Zombie? Yep, sorry. <laughs> I'm having uh, Thorn Man to fight Scurry Oak. Sure. Damn it. Well, there goes that win. <laughs> uh, whenever another kid. And then, so, then Thorn Man is going to fight your last centaur. I'm going to sack it to your henny. Okay. I draw one card because Thorne Mammoth fought his thing. And then I'm going to have Gwena fight. What's that next to the saga? DS what? Oh, this uh Dark Steel. Okay. How big is that um orc army? It is a 24-24. Okay, say no more. We're not doing that. <laughs> oh <laughs> I am gonna have Gwena. Hey Chase. Oh, I'm sorry. And then Thorn will hello, hello. the card right to your commander's on me. Oh, you're killing my commander? No, 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 to the right of it. No, oh, you're right, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. So that's two, I think Thorn. Yeah. I actually am going to have to get out of here after this game, Chase, so sorry, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming back, but. Okay, all good, G. Yeah. Two, four. Oh, Thorn is actually alive, okay. All righty. And then I will play... Pot of Greed. Yeah, Pot of Greed. <laughs> Draw three. Draw three in a 40-card deck game. Draw three. Um, oh. Next, Nick. Uh, the, uh, the Mammoth fought more than once because uh, multiple creatures entered at the same time and it saw them enter. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh... Uh. That some bitch is indestructible. He's indestructible. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. How far are you willing to go? How far are you willing to go? Uh -huh. 
Damn, I wish I could make myself fight myself. Yeah. Alright. Whenever a Gorkog attacks each creature with a you can show a power four grade against one one against trample. Fuck, I thought I was gonna say haste. That would've been great. Um You need Xenagos in there. I do. I got him. Oh uh, uh, Xenagod. I was hoping I would pull him. Um Okay. Okay, we're fucking. Let's try this out. Let's see it. I'll pay one to have target creature fight target creature I don't control. I'm gonna have Brash Taunter fight your commander, Ragnarok. Oh. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. What if you have it fight the orc army? And because the the commander isn't big enough, but you can redirect that all that damage to Ragnarok yeah. after that, right? Well, I'm afraid he can, he can sack the orc and then the target don't happen. Uh, fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's true. I forgot you had a sack outlet. Okay, you hit my, or you fight my commander. Yep. And how how much is that? How big is he? Seven six. Okay. I will do the seven. But what did you face. sack? Huh? What did you sack? Oh, you have to sacrifice a legendary creature or a legendary artifact to target it. Ooh, I'll sack. Yeah. Okay. And seven to me directly. Cool. Uh, and then I'll draw a card off that fight. Oh, some bitch! Uh, yeah. Damn it! All right, I will move to combat. Mm-hmm. And then none of those can. Oh, by the way, so this says uh, when Grathama leaves, all all other creatures have. You may have it fight Grathama instead of attacking. Uh, all so other creatures have when this creature attacks, you may have it fight Grathama. When Grathama leaves the battlefield, each player draw cards equal to the amount of damage dealt to him this turn by gotcha. sorcery victory. Um. Uh, I wish I could have brass. Damn it! I wish I had brass fight. Ah, oh, I needed a haste. I needed a haste and Amber. So I'll move to combat and I'll swing. Three three threes at Ragnarok, <laughs> and then. Seven. Hold on, what's this say? I don't have power four greater. Each creature control with power four greater. Okay. He's going to give himself plus one, plus one, and trample. So. That's at. What did I just say? Ragnarok. No, I'm sorry. Those three threes are at Ragnarok. And then, Zombie, I'm coming at you for eight. You know what? I, I think I'm just I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. <laughs> As am uh, I. Do you have any yeah. responses, Ragnarok? Are you gonna play a Aetherize, return all attacking creatures to hand or something? Nope. You got it, buddy. I had the combo in hand. I had Rosy Cotton and Scurio. I, I figured you did. That's why uh, I had to get Scurio. I also had Niffle She in hand, which would have been fun to copy this to get more lands, but here we are. Good game, guys. That was fun. That was fun. I need a fling. Holy crap. It was frustrating, but it was fun. <laughs> I was dead. After, after that first initial wipe, the ultra sword, I was, I was done for for a while. Yeah. After after dealing with that um, after dealing with that uh, creature that made me sack all my dudes, I was just like, well, <laughs> yeah, that, I got, that I got no gas now. That's what slowed me down. That was bad. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, never an opponent cast a spell, sacred creature. Jesus. Yeah. Well, if either of you guys have Discord, 
Um, you can add me on my Discord right there, and I'll add you guys to my Discord channel so we can get more games in if you'd like. And I stream, and I'm working on setting up a YouTube and getting things going there. So. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, I actually have a Instagram page. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta flip you around. I actually have you right side up. There we go. Flock oh, EDH okay. for Instagram. All right. Yeah. So I, I just made that. Um, I'm also trying to become a content creator when it comes to magic. Yeah. My, my goal is to get popular enough that I get invited to like game nights or anything like that. You know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to I want to play on my favorite content creators shows so I have to get famous enough that they'll invite me to play and yeah. you know like have wizards invite me to Barcelona you know for command fest oh, yeah you know something wanna, like that. Um, uh, the I flock wanna... EDH is what you got yeah okay. my goal is to meet Lady Danger and Lua Stardust oh yeah Lua Stardust is awesome Lady Danger is great too I, I love them both I just want to meet Liliana and have sex with her. So. I uh, wow. I, I got to meet uh, I got to meet um, uh, ah, uh, Olivia Gober Hicks at uh, at nice. Fest Seattle. That was cool. That and uh, awesome. and Dana Fisher, they were both there. That is awesome. Oh, actually, at, and at the first Command Fest Seattle I went to, I got to play a game with Josh Sequoia. Dude, that is lit. And I was playing. Okay. Uh, I was playing a deck. I was playing a, a Safi Eric's daughter combo, and I didn't really get to combo off. He was playing. Uh, he was playing uh, Feather, and the other two players at my table had really slow starts. And I ended up playing uh, Collector Oof. Well, the following week on the Command Zone podcast, Josh was like, "Oh yeah, we're talking about playing Aggro in Commander today, and how you do it." And they were talking about playing like Hate Bears to help slow the board down, so you can actually build up an Aggro and like board and swing in for an alpha strike and they're like yeah he was like oh yeah i played against this uh this green white uh this green white deck at uh at command fest seattle that played collector oof and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool talk about all right uh but yeah if you guys add me on discord i'll, I'll uh, add you guys to my to my uh channel and yeah but it's a uh, hot zombie hashtag six one six eight uh no, i just did. i just sweet. sent it Thank you guys for playing. Have a great night, all right? Thank you. Guys for loved your loved your decks. It was really fun. Thank you. Peace. Peace. All right, and we are ending the stream. Please follow me on Twitch at uh, Hot Zombie, Instagram Hot Zombie Gaming, YouTube Hot Zombie Gaming, and I just started a TikTok, but I haven't really done anything with it. But it's at Hot Zombie. Um, so if you want to follow me on those places, that'd be great. 